Yo, so guys, welcome back to the What's Good podcast. Today we have the absolute legend, P Money, on the podcast. Let's go. Let's go. Big up, man. I feel like you two are very similar people, you know. I feel really? very left out here. Oh, uh, why? We're both parents. True. True. Rappers. Mm. Yep, yep. No pixel players. True. true. You have beards. We do. Have Wait, what was it? You're wearing a hat. <laughs> I'm very out. Like, I feel yeah, very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. He was on No Pixel though. Yeah, he was on No Pixel at one point though. A while ago, a while ago. I played for like a month. I feel like like what happened to you is close to what happened to me. But we'll get into that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we may as well just talk about it straight away. However, before we do do that though, you've got a a song up there where you say, fuck your podcast. Yes. Do you mean our our podcast? No, 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 yours is right. Was it at anyone specific? Um, Because there was rumors it was the fellas. (laughs) No, nah. <laughs> nah, okay. just, uh, just no. Nah. It's just like there's some pod- podcasts where it's just it's just for clout. It's like you know people ask questions just for clout. They don't know the artist or care. Mm. Yeah, and um, they just yeah they they might even not even have that opinion, but they will put that opinion out because they know what kind of feedback they're gonna get from it that makes their channel big. So I just like, that is oh, true. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Kind of people. Yeah. I like people I know. You know. Yeah, yeah, chip. Um, <laughs> Not chipmunk, please don't diss me. <laughs> True, stay safe. <laughs> All right, well now we'll talk okay, about no it. Okay, yeah. NoPixel, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you've been on NoPixel for like three months? No, longer than no that. No, yeah. so- Bro, I don't, uh, bro, time it, has- yeah. Your break was you right. Were, your break yeah, was three months. break was about three, four months. In total, I'd say I, I, I did like six months. When did you yeah. start? I started- Last year, I think. Oh God, my throat. I had no idea of time. <laughs> you yeah. don't know. <laughs> Three months ago, he wasn't even on the server. Yeah. He was having a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it was last year around like maybe August, Sick. August time, September or something like that. Yeah. yeah. How did you, how did it come about? Like, how did you, um, through Josh or? Yeah, from watching his streams. And yeah. there was another guy called Sammy who plays a character called Mando. Okay. Who's like ballers. They're the ones that wear purple. Yeah. And. I started talking to him because I thought he was this deep voiced American guy. So I was in the chat and I was like, I laughed and I was like, oh, that's sick. And then this normal, quiet, squeaky voice, English, no, no, Essex. British. Okay. Oh, he was like, yo, P. I was like, what? I was like, yo, I feel lied to. Like this yeah, whole time true, I've been true. watching you, I thought you was this, this American guy. He's like, nah, man, I'm Sammy from Essex. I was like, <laughs> I was like what? You got Sammy. Like, yeah. And then, yeah, I just got into it. Like loads of people were hitting me up saying, um, you should jump on it. There's a music scene. Mm-hmm. I was like, what? Yeah. But obviously I was, GTA, but this is a different level. Yeah. So then, yeah. Once I started seeing like people doing music, I was like, all right, I want to get on this, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm shocked actually, because I know we spoke about it before I actually fully went on there, but I'm shocked at how good the music is. Yeah. I was really like shocked. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot of talent. And then like, there's even like people who are not taking it serious. They're having fun with it. Yeah. That still sounds really good. Yeah. They're, they're, they're role playing like a character and they're role playing the music. Yeah. The music's still sick. Yeah. It's mad. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. I, I heard some music obviously um, before I got on there, but there's so much more that yeah. I didn't know about. Yeah. And, it's like, and it's also what I like the most is that there's artists that are like, they don't have experience, yeah. but they still manage to put songs together. Yeah, exactly. That's what's really sick. Yeah, I think what blows my mind is like, I'm used to just going to professional studio setups yeah. and all these people are making good quality songs at home. Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't even record at home. Got you, got you. So I'm like, yo, this is sick. Like now I'm speaking to Sparky. He's yeah, the yeah. on there and I'm asking him for advice. Like, <laughs> yo, what, <laughs> how do you record at home like that? Like, what do, yeah, what do you yeah. have? What do I need? But he's cold, isn't he? Yeah, he's Wait, so, so songs you've done for uh, No Pixel, you're recording in a studio, like a full studio. Yeah, yeah, so how do you studio. go into a studio? Are you with a producer and stuff in there? Uh, you go in and you're like, oh, by the way, this, this, one's, this one's just yeah. for GTA. <laughs> yeah, I've had to like show my engineer like what I'm doing. Cause when I'm talking about certain things, he's like looking at me like, what, you did what? Like, I'm like no, 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 it's for this. And I, Shooting I feds. Just, yeah, I to, <laughs> yeah like, there was a song where I was like, yeah, not afraid to die. Like, yeah, any, any cop can just get smoked. And he was just like, <laughs> You sure you want to put this out? <laughs> I had to That's show class. him. But I was like, no, look. So I showed him my Twitch, and now even he's into it. Do you yeah. Because I mean? there's because there's the whole music side of it. Even like he's into it. Certain producers as well, like Splurge Boys, hit me up, and they was like, yo, we see what you're doing. Like, That's mm. sick. Like mm. we definitely want to make a few songs. Have you ever had a song that you've gone, okay, I'm gonna make this song for GTA, and then gone, actually, this is like too not too good, but. I can make this a full. Could release. be a P money song. Yeah, you know? definitely. I did. A, I did a track with Wicked called Ransom. Yeah, and I was like, 
straight away. As soon as, as soon as I vocaled it, I messaged him and I was like, yeah, this might have to just like go on my tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, it might have to go on my tape. But yeah, honestly, like now it's got to the point where I'm like, I will actually make an album just with no pixel music. That's gonna be sick. Like, it's got to that point where I felt like this music is actually good and I'm having fun. It felt new because there's so much people that don't necessarily know me or my background, where yeah. I'm from. They just, this is a new artist. So it's like a whole new challenge. It feels like starting again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does, yeah. And I enjoy it. So yeah, I starting again with like a little bit of a cheat code. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little being bit able of, to make music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true, yeah, true. a little bit of a cheat code. But I said I will make like a whole new Spotify and everything, and mm. just let it grow naturally. Yeah, sick. Yeah. What so, would it be called though? Because you use you use P money on the game, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can't be. You can't, you can't be P money. You can't Spotify. be P money, but it's just a different one. I think it's not like YouTube. Where it's what, like, if it, what if it overtakes? <laughs> uh, I, that's the thing. I, I, I did think it, if it will do that because now I don't. I don't stream as much with my camera, and I've made like these little emojis that look like me. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, one day, like maybe it just becomes that. It's like, yeah, it's just the voice you hear, the character, yeah, character, yeah. You know what I mean, that's sick, man. Yeah. That's sick. I felt like you've had that in terms of he wasn't making any music, mm. and then you went on No Pixel. And now you've made like 35 songs. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. I literally, I've made like 12 songs. And I, and I hadn't made music in two years. Yeah. Not a single song. Well, I mean, I'd made songs for myself. Yeah, I would not yeah. put it out. Not, and I wouldn't yeah. really even try and put it out. And then, um, like, it's, it's what you, you, you make a song, right? You play mm. it to people in the game. Yeah. And they're gassing it up and it makes you excited. Yeah. And then yeah. You, hit, you see chat, like, loving it. I'm like, oh, this is really fun, man. Yeah. Um, so you just go, go, go. But talking about studios, my, my music self is in a different room. Um, okay. So I'm streaming, right? So then when I go in the Wu Chang Studios or wherever I go, yeah. I um I have to Discord call my wife yeah. who's logged into the computer, <laughs> run into the computer, share the screen back, then I put the screen overlay onto my Twitch, <laughs> and then I run back over, and then I'm just spitting bars and stuff. And then if, if someone talks to me in game, I have to run back into oh the room. Oh my god! <laughs> so I think it, when I move house, I'm gonna try and get like a because I, I use Logic, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I, I don't stream on a Mac. Yeah, so yeah. I gotta like I find a way where I can combine my Mac and. Windows to like try and that sounds long, so long, man. And I see Sparky, and he just opens Ableton. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, that yeah, looks yeah. so easy, man. I yeah. wish I could just open that up. Um, but he's been sick, man. He's like, Sparky's just sick. Yeah, he's sick, man. And also, as as a character too, mm. he's, he's smashing it. Yeah. I, I got to play his music. Okay, yeah, fire, honestly, man. Really, really good rapper, man. Yeah. You see, I don't watch. I watch a bit of it, but I don't know everything. So yeah, yeah. I'm kind of like the outsider in terms of asking questions. So I might like no, you're signed cool. to Wu Chang. Wu Chang, yeah. There's like, I feel like, is there more than just Mandem and Wu-Chang? Yeah. Yeah, but it's like- That's the only two I ever hear. They're the big they're the big labels. Like it's got, you know, quite incredible artists, big streamers. Um, there is other labels, but at the moment they just haven't really been releasing music because obviously in GTA you do different things. You might have, you know, your story is Robin Banks. You're doing that and not mm -hmm. really making music. So at the moment it's like a, a rivalry of Wu Chang and MDM Records. So that's the main two names you keep hearing because it's like, whenever an artist comes to the city, it's like, who are they signing to? Which is what he's going through right now. <laughs> yeah. It's quite- it's, I've, it's heard, so I've heard a lot of right? times he's been, he's like, I don't yeah. know what to do. I don't yeah. know what to do. I've tried <laughs> to like avoid him at that time. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, can't speak to him and sign it. I'm like, nah, man. Like, I don't think you realize like how, how it gets. It's, you, to be fair, you were the one that, that really like calmed it down for me. Yeah. You're like, oh, don't worry about it, man. Just focus on the music, just relax. Yeah. And I actually needed to hear that. Yeah. Um, Bro, but, this is deep. This is no, honestly, <laughs> it's, it's mad. You get, why didn't you sign? And I'm like, Bro, it's a game. Like. Bro, it's been the most stressful thing I've, ever, I've maybe ever done. Like, it's, it's, but you know what it is though? It's because obviously, um, as you were saying, like most, most people who are artists in the game, they'll do like a crime or something yeah. well. I've just been doing only doing music. That. Yeah. So that's my whole character. So it's like everything I do is about that. Um, which I think people don't understand. That's why I'm making it so, yeah. the, the decision so important. Yeah. And then I also had a baby, right? So I was gonna sign, I pick yeah. the, the, the label much earlier mm. with the EP launch, but then I had the baby, so I couldn't. Yeah. So I had to push it back, push it back. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for me, I think the problem is, I think this is what you had, obviously, because I'm so close to Josh in terms yeah, of like the yeah, audience and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Everyone wants to go, to go sign yeah, there. Yeah. And um, I kind of was happy to do that, but then I kind of created my own path as well. Yeah. Which in the Wu-Chang stuff was sounding really cool. I've met some sick people there. Yeah. So now I, I was torn between whether like, do I want to do like my own thing? Yeah. Or kind of go and um, sign with Mandem Records. But it's not even like, we, we, even Josh's character, Tommy, it's not like he's always in always, yeah. in the record label. I know. So yeah. if he was, it'd be much easier because I'd be like, oh, let's do this thing together. But exactly. he's not there, you know? That's the same issue I had because everyone was like, you know, be with the man then, Josh. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, but he streams at three in the morning. I'm <laughs> yeah. asleep. I yeah. never see this guy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like hard to make the story work. So 
I've just been balancing it out where I'm always still with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm always still with them. That's that's what I was saying. I was like, as long as I can see, still kind of like hang and chill with everyone, I don't really mm. mind. Yeah. But um, it's been hard with the chat because they're so, yeah, and they, they, they get so into it, right? Yeah. Which is a good thing, I suppose, because yeah. it means you're making good content, but they like get super, super into it. And it must, that must be tough for you, right? Yeah. Well, my character had nothing to do with music or mm. even like gangs. Yeah. Um, I played like a proper like loser <laughs> who didn't know what he was doing. I got like tricked into doing crime basically. Yeah, yeah. And then everyone was just like, oh, meet up with the man dem, go rob something. And I'm like, that's not, that's not what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. I just couldn't be bothered in the yeah, end. So yeah. I ended up stopping. Yeah. It's, 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 that's, a, that's the one thing I learned from streaming as well. It's hard yeah, to like- at, Even the way he runs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is my that's character. Yeah. That is funny though. Yeah. It's hard. That, what's one thing I learned from streaming? It's hard to like, you'll have so many people that are just like watching and supporting. When, once you get like 10 people trying to tell you what to do and it's hard to yeah. not focus on that. But yeah, they're yeah. actually like, the, then the, the amount of people giving you negative messages is actually nowhere near the amount it's of people. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they stand out so much. They do, they do. Because, because there's only a few of them. You just, that one message will come through and it will just change your whole vibe. Yeah. 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 And with comments on like Twitter or YouTube, or whatever, you, you can take time to like read it and think yeah. about it. On stream, you, your reaction's there straight away. Yeah. And people see, well, I'm like, I'm like looking at my screen and people know when I look to the chat. Yeah, yeah, so they yeah. know I've looked, they yeah. know I've read it. And then I'm now I've got to react to it. So that's yeah. why sometimes I turn my face cam off because then I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I can just like, you know, de-stress, yeah. but <laughs> it's been a lot, man, like really. It, yeah. But then also I, I spoke to um, um, another character yesterday. I don't want to say who it is, but they were feeling super down as well. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And when, when I hear that, I'm like, oh man, because I've I, I, i I've got, you know, quite a lot of people and I've done it for so long. Mm. I can kind of take it on the chin. Yeah, but yeah. when someone's a smaller streamer and that's yeah. all they get, yeah, it's yeah, like, bro, yeah, that's yeah, just fucked yeah. up now. Yeah, I spoke, I spoke to a few people recently, which is why I like, I told my stream straight away. I was like, right, I'm stepping away from that arc because yeah. this is what you do. I think it's important to let them know what they're doing as well. I don't think they realize they're just yeah. at home typing. Yeah. I don't think they realize how it affects people. But yeah. yeah. But um, no, I was saying this. I think I think I was picking between the labels, but we had, we were meant to have a meeting, right? And yeah. game. And then uh, they called me up and it was like, oh, the Berlin Mandem event, let's let's do the signing now. Yeah. So I went there um, like 10 minutes before and then it said, oh, let's sign you up, let's get you, get you going. But they didn't have the contract ready yeah. or the money. So I was like, right, okay, cool. Let's do it during the show then. Yeah. And it didn't happen. <laughs> and the next day they didn't pay me again. Yeah. And then I was buying a house and I was like, I need this money to sign. And yeah. they're like, oh, we don't have it yet. So I was like, bro, <laughs> you've been trying to get me for like weeks now. Yeah. And when it happened, it's not even there, so I, yeah. I kind of. But then what I said to my chat, I was like, I was picking between. I was trying not let anyone down. Yeah. I was trying not let like Wu Chang down, then not yeah. let um you know Mandem and, and then also Josh down. But he yeah. doesn't care. That's the thing. He yeah. doesn't care. Yeah. Like, he's happy for me to do whatever yeah. I want. It's, it's but the you. audience make him yeah. seem like he cares. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's like, oh, don't snake your boy. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, bro, I got the same thing. Yeah, when I was like, yeah. yeah, I'm doing Wu Chang and I'm with. I'm with Chang Gang and everyone's like, oh, come home. I'm like, I'm in my home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> true, you, true, not, true. Not, you know what I mean? Like we'll text and I'll see him at an event. Like, yeah. Bro, it's not that, but I guess that's just, it's just it's their version of TV now, isn't it? Yeah, no, so, it is, it is, yeah, yeah it is. But it's it's, it's fun now. But like, I, I like like Randy as well, Randy Bullet. Like yeah. when I'm hanging with them, it's, it's sick. Like, the yeah. vibes are always good. Uh, yeah. And I met a lot of people at Wu Chang who've been like Damien. He's a sick artist, yeah, exactly. man, a sick guy yeah. as well. So it's, I, just, I don't want to let anyone down. But then what I realized, I, I, I didn't let anyone. I was trying my hardest not to let everyone down. That I just let myself down. Do you? Do you know what I mean? Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Just do you, man. Yeah, yeah. Do what you want to do, man. That's what I did, and just. I think as long as you're still yeah vibing with people, people yeah. will see it doesn't matter. Yeah. Remind everyone it's a game. Yeah, That's true. What I constantly. I got remind myself sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I still find it so weird, you know. Like whenever I see, like, you and Jamie mm. play, like you guys play games. Yeah, a lot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I still find it really weird because I think obviously gaming is like nerdy, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. And then like, when you watch a music video. It's like instantly how cool you are, mm. and then playing a game. It's like I I think it's cool anyway. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It just seems the opposite if you know. What yeah, I mean. and I think that's why I've been trying. Uh, that that's mainly what got me into streaming is because like when I I, I was playing FIFA and I was getting like top one hundred in the world. And when yeah, I, yeah that's, when that I was mad. Yeah, yeah when I, I remember. Tweet, like, <laughs> yeah, like when I tweet about it, everyone's like, "Oh my god!" And I'm like, "Well, you don't like." That's the thing. Everyone plays games. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, just yeah. like, but you like you and Jamie are much more public about it. Yeah, so like, I, I kind of wanted to show people more, like, okay, I want to actually show, like, it's it's not actually a nerdy thing. We all play games. Yeah, the amount everyone. of rappers, when Call of Duty comes out, every oh, rapper's yeah. in my DMs, yo, <laughs> can I get a code, bro? Yeah. You know, every <laughs> yeah. single rapper, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm on FIFA, yo, how do I get my song on FIFA, fam? And I'm like, 
everyone plays games. Like, yeah, everyone yeah. plays games. So I just wanted to kind of bridge that gap and show it's not it's not actually a nerdy thing. Like there's a game for everyone. Like like my missus bangs at Sims. If she loads yeah, up her yeah, game, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see her for <laughs> yeah. eight hours. That's true. Like, we're in the same house and she's just she won't even eat. Do you mm, know what I mean? Mm, like mm, yeah, yeah, that's her yeah. thing. There's a game for everyone. It is crazy that there's this stigma, isn't it, around like people and what they do. Yeah. You know, um, I feel like like girls with gaming as well always get like like shit on a bit mm. like for what they do and like like say Tyler's playing a game everyone's oh, like oh yeah, my god she goes, the amount of time she goes into she plays Valorant a lot yeah, yeah. when she's queuing up she always she talks before the like the menu starts yeah. Yeah. because of the amount of people that find out she's a girl and then quit it's mad and it's then mad. so she's just like I'll talk now so that we don't have to play if they're gonna quit it's so it's mad, mad I yeah. find it mad there's girls that will actually like Smoke you, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, like, <laughs> why not? Like, like the, 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 we're all people, and, and, and Tali's fucking sick of that game, yeah, it's unreal. You should bet me, it puts like <laughs> true, true, 12 true. hours a day into true. it. <laughs> <laughs> if I could beat her already, then I, <laughs> yeah. I'd tell her to quit, yeah, yeah. it's true, yeah, it's true. But, but you yeah. play a lot, like, you play a lot of games, yeah, I play, and you're good at a lot, and you're of good, games. Yeah. yeah, because yeah. we did a so he, this man won me free chicken for oh, life. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. We did a KFC live stream. And I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if you ever heard this conversation. I go over to the to the producers and I'm like, oh, me and P-Money, we know each other. So it might be good to put us on the same team because <laughs> we'll have like good like rapport. And, yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, yeah, that's a really good idea. I'm thinking, I right, I like P Money, and also I know he's fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's. True. And when I say this, he won every game. Oh my yeah. god, every game. Yeah, yeah. Including yeah. we played one that was I can't remember the racing game we played. It was that Micro Machines? It was like yeah, was like, which I've played before. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. I'd, <laughs> I you still beat me. <laughs> You've never played it before, and you still won. Wait, so it wasn't just FIFA. It was it, it was, was like four wasn't even games. FIFA. It was yeah, Pez. No, yeah, it was Pez. Oh, four Pez, games. a racing game, a uh, shooting game, and like. A Mortal Kombat Tekken yeah, style so, game. Yeah, yeah. so you, you yeah. must be good at like the driving and the shooting on GTA then. I'm I'm all right because it's it's a bit different the GTA shooting. It's and, awful. And the driving. Yeah, the mechanics it's, is awful. Yeah, it's not like you're because they've made their own like mods and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so it's, yeah. you get used to it. But like a few shootouts I've been in, people are like, no, he can shoot. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Like Pikachu. Yeah, it was, it was, it was yeah. stupid. <laughs> I, I've still got that signing at my mum. That's sick. She couldn't believe it when I when I came over. That I was like, yeah, here you go. She's like. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did, how do you even get this? I was like, oh, playing games. She's like, what? Yeah. I thought it was gonna be a fake That's thing true. where it's like, oh, we all get one. Yeah. Uh, no, we actually got. No, them. we actually got That's one yeah. with a card and everything. Yeah. Although to be fair, the so there was like four rappers and four gamers was yeah. the thing. Mm. Two of the gamers were Claire and Ali, who are both vegan. Yeah. <laughs> so I was a little bit like, if you win this, I'm taking it off you anyway. True. Yeah. <laughs> true. But um. That's class, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you've been playing games for a while. Yeah, been, man. But yeah. Uh, it's not your main thing. Music, yeah. obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, when when did you actually start playing music? What, what am I saying? When did you start making music? Um, I think I was probably like 12, 13 years old. My, my older cousins used to say this lyric. It's mad, because at the time I thought he was the greatest MC. Okay. He kept saying this lyric. <laughs> about like Lamborghini. Bear in mind, you didn't have no Lamborghini. But <laughs> I was just young and then all like, oh, this is sick, it rhymes, everything. And I was yeah. just like, this is sick. And then um, my cousin, his, uh, my uncle had a studio. So I just started writing lyrics like, and um, they were terrible, but I went to the studio and yeah. recorded them. And then this was around the time there was mini discs. I remember I, I, we, Somehow, I don't even know how, we got it on a mini disc and I used to play it to my friends. Like, oh, look. Yeah. And then in school, once once I went into secondary school, I never told no one I could MC or nothing. Um, and then I met Lil D, um, he went to my school. And then one time there was clashing in the playground and obviously he's my best friend. So I was like, what? And I just sprayed the lyric that's... and everyone, everyone went mad. Yeah, yeah, And that's yeah. when I realized, okay, am I good? Cause I'd never shown no one. I didn't right. know if I was good. So I was like, oh okay, this, this is a thing. And then there was like, you know, like school assemblies, I was doing stuff like that, um, like spoken word stuff. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, all the like talent shows. And it, it just it just grew, it just, my, my name just spread around yeah. the whole area. Started going to different youth clubs and just mm -hmm, emceeing mm -hmm. and everyone was going mad. And then, um, then I started making songs when I was like in, I'd say year, year 11. 
um, went into college and then this is when everyone was on the phones, Bluetooth. Mm, yeah, bro, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was like before anyone knew what anyone looked like. There, there, were, there wasn't YouTube, it was like MySpace. Yeah. And like, there was just like pictures, but I always had a hat and, a, and my hood mm-hmm. low. You never really knew what I looked like. So I was getting on buses and hearing people playing my song at the oh, back, like kids at the back playing my, that's my sick. song. That's sick, that's sick. And I'm just like chilling and they have no idea like, <laughs> yeah. that's me. It's, yeah, it was pretty mad. It was pretty mad. Do you think that that original lyric about Lamborghinis was like a underlying thing why you did the song Lamborghini? Could be, <laughs> it could be. Cause at that time, I remember when I first heard it, I had no idea what a Lamborghini looked like. Mm. I just remembered it was, it just, it, the lyric just sounded sick. And then I remember I got older and I was like, yeah, cause like you started, you know, you kind of started me emceeing. And mm-hmm. then he was like, yeah, you know that lyric weren't mine. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> no. what? I was like, what? He was like, yeah, man, that was some guy I knew. Like he's, he was just, I just used to spray his lyric all the That's time. Jokes. I said, wow. Like, so I started emceeing off of you just like being a fraud. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad he was though. Yeah, I'm glad he yeah, was, man. yeah. I'm like grateful for it. But I'm just like, you actually fooled me. I, I genuinely thought you was the hardest MC I'd ever yeah. had. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> with, with the, uh, it's like a random question, but with the uh, Lamborghini song with JJ, like, mm. how, how did that come about? Um, I, I, my younger brother was, Big fan KSI yeah, yeah. watching him. I remember going in his room and all his friends were there and they was watching KSI <laughs> just go mad at FIFA. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah. didn't get it at first. I was like, what? Do you want me to buy you the game? Why are you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Why are you watching? Yeah. And until I, I found myself, t- 15 minutes had passed and I'm still standing there watching right, with them. Right, okay. And I was like, no, this guy's funny. So then I remember reaching out to him like, yo, actually, I love what you do. Like, yeah. sick, do your thing. And then... Uh, he hooked up with Sway, Sway and started yeah. doing music. Yeah. And I was, I, I started seeing the potential, like he could be massive. Like mm-hmm. he's already got the following. I understand like the business side of it. Yeah, so I was yeah. like, he's got the following, like he might need a bit of sharpening, mm-hmm. but yo, this guy could be yeah. massive. Well, he's doing it right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, he just seemed cool. Yeah, Like he was just cool. He was just cool. So we got talking more and then obviously I knew Sway as well. And then he just hit me up one day. He was like, yo, do you want to do this track? Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, cool, man. Like, I'm down. Did and you hear? Did you hear the track? Like, was it was it kind of ready just for like a, like a verse, or did you have like? I think um, it had one verse. I don't think it had the his second verse. Yeah. It just had the first verse and the beat, and the, and the chorus idea. And I was just like, yeah, man, this could be like a proper like sing along. People will go mad yeah, to this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And um, I just I just wanted to do it for him. Really, I yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. I I rate that he wants to do it. Like he wants to prove himself. Like, yo, I can be on a track with a hard artist and yeah. do me. Yeah, and I like that. I was like, yeah, cool. Do you yeah, know what I mean, the thing is, right? I don't know if I can. I'm pretty certain I can say this now. It's been years. Yeah. So he got a verse from someone out. Like he had your verse and someone else's verse. Mm. I don't know if you know who that other person is. Yeah, yeah. He got the fir- the first person's verse and played it in a like a in a what were we a Skype call back then, mm-hmm. and all of us were like, what the fuck? This yeah. is the best thing ever, and we were literally like. There's no point. Do it. Just do that. Yeah. yeah. And then it was about three days later we got your one, mm. and everyone went, "No, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the one." Yeah. Your verse is ridiculous. Your verse is ridiculous. Yeah, it's yeah, a, it's a I joke. That. Yeah. It was. It, that, that was like around the first time I'd started doing that tempo because yeah. to me that's kind of like drum and bass tempo. Mm-hmm. Like it's quite similar. So that was the first time I like did that speed like that tempo, and uh, I found it. I found it like a, a new challenge, and. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful though, because it opened me up to a whole new audience that yeah, I didn't know yeah, about. For sure. I was going to like friends' houses and their kids knew me. Mad, mad. You're on a song with KSI? And that's when I actually really got to understand like the extent of his reach was mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. mad. When yeah. he, these people's kids, I'm getting, you know, I'm taking my, my little brother's school or, or whatever and his friend's mums, <laughs> like, can I get a picture? And I'm like, <laughs> What? <laughs> That's true. Why? Like, why? What do you yeah. mean? And over the time, it's like even now, people are like Lamborghini. I'm like, oh, sick. Like, yeah, man. It must get annoying though. Like, as in, when you have to perform this with JJ, because that's not an easy verse to perform. <laughs> it's not easy, but I, I like it though, man. Yeah. It's, it's like it's always a. Uh, I just love like challenges. I, 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 if it's too easy, it's easy for you to get bored. Yeah. No. No. So, you're right. That's true. That's true. But, um, that was a sick show, man. Coming out in the Lambo as yeah, well. Yeah, that was that my. Was when he told me, I was like. How? Like, he was like, yeah, you're gonna, we're gonna come out in a Lambo. And I was like, yeah, but like, 
how and who's Lambo? Like, how, how yeah. do you know what I mean? You know, they, they called me the day of the show, right? Like an hour or two before. Mm. Cause they had done, right? They, they'd done all the work to get the Lambo there, all the work to get it on the stage. Yeah. And they called me and they were like, hey, um, do you have the, the track? <laughs> Like the PA track. Oh so they did, they did all this work to get the Lambo in. They didn't even have the PA track. They must have just forgot. Yeah. So luckily I had it from the, the old tour. Yeah. Um, sent it to them, but I was like, right, how are you going to do all this work to get a Lambo <laughs> yeah. in? And then forget <laughs> and the song. Yeah. We were all sat up to the side. So we're like, we're looking through the passenger window kind of thing. We can like, we're like, he's there. You yeah. can see him. We can see him. Yeah. yeah. It was sick. I, I only got briefed like there. Mm, mad, mad, okay. I just got told he on my show. I was like, yeah, I'm coming anyway. I'll come. And then. <laughs> Literally, I've, it could have uh, it could all have been forty five minutes before going on, and he was like, "Yeah, man, so we're gonna count in a Lambo." I was like, oh, "There's a Lambo, okay? <laughs> Where is it?" Oh yeah, it's under this thing, and I, then I saw it, and it was just like, "Yeah, here's your here's your here's your pack, here's yeah, your yeah. your in ears, right? You're gonna get in this car, and you're gonna." It was just all, all literally before Fast. the show. Yeah, like I was just like, "This is mad." Like, yeah. It was sick. That's like I've seen so many people do Wembley, but that was like one of the it sickest was, shows man. I've seen. Yeah, it was. That yeah. was really sick. That was one of the sh only shows I was not nervous for, you know? Like, yeah. usually I get really nervous for shows, mm. but then that one, when I arrived, the energy just felt really good. Cause okay. I was like, all these people here for JJ, man. Yeah, it felt yeah. like he's finally like, um, got to this place yeah. where they're all there for him. Yeah. And that was sick. Yeah, yeah. Because Reading was like, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't yeah. know. It could yeah. be like, everyone's there. Like mm. Even mm. that surprised me, like Reading. Cause like- Oh, everyone, everyone loved it. Like he had one of the best crowds, yeah. but yeah, it could have gone the other way. Everyone yeah. could have you, like you, you're speaking about the tempo on uh, Lamborghini, uh, you know, drum and bass, you know, tempo. You said you, you've done a lot more music now recently. That's been a bit yeah. more electronic, right? So with yeah. the whiny, it's a, you know. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing drum and bass with whiny. We're going to do like a, a drum and bass album. Yeah. Just me and him, him on the productions, a couple features. And um, it'll come out on Hospital Records, which is like nice. one of UK's like biggest drum and bass labels. Mm -hmm. And again, that was that move was like to just bridge the gap between different genres, you know, my, bring my sort of grime vibe to drum and bass, but then also with bridging the gap with gaming, what yeah. I did was our first song we made was Buster Red, mm -hmm. and I premiered it in No Pixel. Oh no way! Like my first song that I came to the city with and played oh, was Buster Red. Okay, That's and sick. everyone was like, "This is hard" because yeah. I know that audience, like the Americans and Australians, they hadn't really heard no one in the in that server yep. make drum yep. and bass. So when they heard it, everyone was liking it, liking it, and then the support from it was so crazy that when we put it out, it just, oh, even it now legs. it's still, you know, it just, yeah. it's just going and hospital couldn't believe it. They're like, okay, yeah. where's this support come from? And I'm like, <laughs> Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, this is why I'm trying to tell you lot to get involved. Because that's, that's sick. Yeah, people don't realize, you know, there's a lot of like music that can't, it's not allowed to be played on Twitch because of DMCA, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you get a, a strike. Um, cause you, it's like Twitch hasn't made a deal where they pay royalties to artists or labels. Mm -hmm. But my thing was like, why would I miss out on that kind of exposure and reach yeah. while waiting for them to make that deal when I can just say, do you know what? Everyone can play my music. Yeah. I feel like that's because you're them. actually part of your like music release, if you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a lot of people are like, okay, I'll make a song, label go through everything. Yeah. So they don't yeah. even see the side Exactly. Of it. So that's why working with Hospital Records, I'm showing them, I'm yeah. like, this is what you're missing out on. Like there is all these people willing to help support, get involved. And you guys are literally just shutting them down, shutting down streamers yeah, no, without yeah. realizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, they, and like, if you look at it on the surface, if they're in like a board meeting and they're, and they're thinking, right, well, someone's using our music without permission. Yeah. It, it doesn't, it, it, I understand why they would want to stop it. Yeah. But when you explain to them and show yeah. them how helpful it is to how, your music, yeah, I think they would understand. Yeah. But it's hard because on the surface, they're like, well, we made that music, we own it. You can't yeah. use it. But yeah. But now with like Buster Red, they got to see like, okay, I'm like, look, you like that check you're getting yeah well, yeah exactly yeah, like, <laughs> exactly you know I mean? so. but, it's, but it's real music that's what i try i keep saying to the people in the city as well or in the game who are artists mm. a lot of them are trying to get out of the game yeah but i'm like oh but don't disrespect the people in there though because no. it's still real people you're making yeah. real music and it's still numbers and people are still listening yeah so like do do both you know yeah i think 100%. sparky was saying he wants to make like out of character music but run it in the game yeah. that, that works but just don't yeah. don't neglect the audience yeah definitely because they're still there you know yeah because i had a uh, i used a song from bashy Mm -hmm. ages ago yeah and um video ended up getting like a couple million views and then he messaged me and he was just like oh thanks for using my song but like where's my money for it yeah and i was like no come on man <laughs> like i've literally the the description is just like this is the song youtube link itunes link yeah. everything and then he dm me like i think like two years later mm. and was like oh i've just gone back to the video and everyone's like many minutes sent me blah 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 and he was like so thanks for using it yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> cool like yeah but at yeah. the same time that, yeah Surely you could have seen that yeah. I have pushed your song and it's not just me going like, yeah. 
I'm not trying to steal any credit of it or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, I've just yeah, used yeah. it because I think it's a sick song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hopefully now anyone who's watched my video has gone, that is a sick song. I'm going to go listen to it. Yeah. And that, and that's, again, that's why I want to bridge that gap because it's simply because he doesn't know you and your world. He doesn't know the YouTube world. He doesn't know the gaming world. He just sees some guy messages him, yo, this guy's used your song. And he just thinks, what? I need to be paid. Because yeah. he, he doesn't know anything about it. But once he educated himself, oh yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, so, he realizes. Yeah, so yeah that's why, true, true. That's, that's a lot of the reasons why I've been trying to do more with the gaming and just kind of bring everyone in and people can see like, it's actually a really cool thing. We can all do stuff together, yeah, yeah. you know, so. Hopefully. Well, now you've also done a song with Toby as well. Yes. So you're working your way around the side, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you owe me, you owe me. Yeah, he, 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 he owes me, he owes me, oh. a, f yeah, he yeah. Owes me a feature still. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. okay. It's never gonna happen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will, it will, it will. It will, 100%, I'm telling you, it will. It yeah, was. that song was sick. It was very just like out of nowhere though. Yeah, like I just, yeah, I remember making it and I was like, um, I think I'd spoke to Toby and Manny a few times. And I remember um, when you guys were doing all the, the clashing and stuff, mm -hmm. I, sp I remember speaking to him around that time and then they brought out their track together. And again, I was just like giving them the same advice, like, yo, go for it, do yeah. you. Like yeah. people that like you will just like you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Just do you, don't try not to overthink it. And then, That's good, yeah. like I felt like Toby, you know, just needed an extra nudge to, f to feel like, yo, I can do this. So mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm. like, here's a track, bro. Like, yeah. if you rate me, well, I rate you, here's a track. Like, believe that. That's cold. Thing. And yeah. he did it. And he, he killed the verse. He yeah, the he, he, I, honestly, he smashed it. Even on the day of the video, like he was like, he weren't sure, you know, how it's gonna come out. And I was like, honestly, bro, just have, just vibe. Have, mm -hmm. My shoots are like very chill. Yeah. And he came, he had a good day, like we was all chilling. And then, um, yeah, that was the outcome. And it was- I think that song pushed him a lot more to make yeah. music. He did the one with Manny before, but yeah. he was that was kind of like, a, yeah, you know, we'll make it for fun. Yeah. And then I think he did this and it was like, okay. Oh no. Well, yeah. I'm actually doing it. Because yeah. him with Manny, as much as it is a, an actual song, it's, it's like two YouTubers made a song. Yeah. Whereas now he's done that. Exactly. It's like, okay, now I've actually made music. Exactly. And and I yeah. get that. It's like, almost like, it's not approval, but it's almost like you get put in that thing of, okay, all these people who rate P Money as an actual artist, now you're on a chat with him. They can't say you're not an actual yeah. artist. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? They can see. I, I don't think it is even like what the audience will say. It's more like convincing yourself. Yeah. So I think for Toby, it's like, all right, now I've done this, and I now I've got that. Like I've got the uh, validation yeah. myself. Yeah. But he's got songs, right? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's got, got like ten music, songs yeah, done. Heard. Yeah, yeah, I've heard, man. I think I think he's working on releasing one of them. Okay. Like yeah, at some good. point, I don't know when, but yeah, I might, I might go and have another word with him. Push him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And again, because the stuff I've I heard, I was like. This is amazing stuff. Yeah. Like, it was stuff where I heard it and I was like, I actually wish I had this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I was like, I wish I made this. Like, mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's the thing, as much as we say, as much as we can say, like, oh, that's sick, release it. Mm. I know it definitely, it means a lot more when it comes from mm. like a rapper. Yeah. 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 So. But I think you all, all you guys are like that, you know? Because um, like you're like, uh, overthink the music too much. Even, even when we record, I mean, yeah. I know we put some of our songs out, but even when we record, I'm like, you're better than like you, you think you are. And and, and Josh as well, like, Josh mm. pissed me off at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> too oh, mad me too, man. Yeah. Me too. That trust song's good, isn't it? Like, it's so good. Yeah. I literally messaged him and I was like, bro, I'm literally going to stop talking to you. I'm yeah. going to stop <laughs> talking to you and, unless you do something with this. Like, yeah. it's so good. Yeah. And he, he only did like three takes as well. And he's like, oh, it's not good enough. I'm like, yeah, well, if you think that, then re-record it and just do it until it's better. But also, the from my perspective, is, it's really good. Mm. The thing is, though, some of it is written for your accent. Yeah, yeah, but I said to him, change the accent then, man. Like, yeah. you just take control of it. Like, you know, you, know, you yeah. can you can. But change that's the what word. I think he's probably struggling with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we, we, I think we can help him with that. I just, I think he just, I mean, he's got every right. It's all about, it's got to feel right for yeah, you. Oh, yeah, for that's sure. That's one thing in music. It's got yeah. to feel right for you. So if it don't feel right for him, it's understandable. But I just think, a lot of it is overthinking and he overthinks a lot. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. He's one person I've met that overthinks everything. But it's yeah. a good trait to have because you are trying to make everything perfect. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's a good trait to have. And you care, you care, right? Like if you yeah. overthink it means you care. Yeah, exactly. you, you, like, <laughs> in GTA, my stuff, I could have stand on day one yeah. and been like, oh, fuck everyone, because I care about everyone. I'm like, yeah, trying yeah. to yeah, yeah. Like, walk yeah, on eggshells. When, when, when I was literally in there and I saw everybody hounding you, like, yo, we can do this. We, I was just literally on my stream, I was like, this is so bad. <laughs> I just weren't even speaking. I was just like, once everyone stopped, I was like, bro, go and 
Everyone yeah, get out his yeah, face. Yeah. Go and do. Go and actually play the game. Yeah, bro. I, just, <laughs> I, just, I don't even know how the city works yet. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, like, like, I'm not even like let done a job go. yet. Every, Why yeah, are you just making your own record label? But that's what. Bro, don't piss me off. That's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to do. Like I'm like, you know what? I actually want to. I can see what's happening here. Yeah. I I need to try and find a way I can help him do his own thing because it's mad. I I start getting messages like, "Yo, go and call Don. My stream has just started. The game's not even on the screen yet." And they're like, "Go and call Don." And I'm like. What's going on? It's, it's mad. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what we wanted, what, one thing he offered in the game. Because I, I was like gonna go tell Tommy, I was like, right, I'm just gonna sign Random Records group, man. And then I'm, I've met you in that garage and we yeah. He was like, how about we, uh, you know, set you up like or try and set you up like an independent label that's like a sister label to Wu Chang. You know, we're not gonna step on your toes too much, but you can come do events and music with us. And I was smi- if you watch a clip of me, I'm just smiling. So I'm like, that literally sounds like everything that I want to do. <laughs> and then I was knackered, super tired. I went to meet Tommy and I just told him what you said. Yeah, but I said it in the worst way in possible. Worst way. It, it was. It was like it, it, what it probably sounded like to him was like, oh no, bro, I'm gonna go sign Wu Chang yeah. Man, uh, do the label underneath them. Fuck you. And I was yeah, like, yeah. I watched it back. I was like, nah, that's not what I meant, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, you spoke about clashing. Mm. Um, I don't know if I've I said. I think I have said it on here before. When I did my diss track on Deji, mm. I sent it to you. Yeah. And I couldn't figure out how to do the first like line. Mm. So and I had the lyrics of the first. I think it was the first two lines or three lines mm. had it and i thought how do i how do i like start yeah how do i come in on beat or whatever so i sent it to you and i was like can you help me like how do i come in on beat and you just like wrote your own thing like six lines and i was like okay it wasn't what i was asking it's better than what i wanted <laughs> and uh i was tempted to use it yeah but i, d- I did steal the start so technically you wrote the diss so, yeah, so you diss Deji is what I was saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Deji, it was him. But then you sent me a voice note afterwards and I was like, do you think it's actually good? And you sent a voice note and you know, I was this close to using it as my intro Swear. Or, or an outro. Cause you know, like sometimes it's sick having like a- You could have done it. You nah, I thought I don't want to drag you into some YouTube beef like that's yeah, not, you, yeah. <laughs> that's not no, actually that deep. It would have been cool, but- because yeah. it's you going, it's like you laughing, going like, no, nah, he actually might get upset. Like, yeah, this is yeah. hard. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah. I probably shouldn't bring. <laughs> I honestly think you lot, like, don't realize how, like, good you actually are when you do it, honestly. I think it's the thing is, the thing I do with you, though, is I can make puns. Yeah. So you give me something like a proper topic mm. and I can make puns about it. But yeah. Yeah. But that is a part of what we do. <laughs> it is. That yeah. Is very but I, much. But like, then if we have to rap about something like actual, I can't do it. No, you say that you can, you can. Because this is what I think. This, we wrote a song about like helium and balloons and stuff. And it was like, I just went, all right, this is, you know, just make this rhyme and just wrote a pun. Yeah. But if you take the helium out of this, you're just fitting really well. Like, you're, you're like I watched this track. I was on stream last night. I watched this track, your one. And I was like, I actually was like, this is actually fucking unreal. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, but I was sat in a room for like seven hours with lots that's, that's, that's what music yeah, is, man. That's, that's what music is. I know, I know, I know. Some, some of the biggest a, artists, honestly, you know, a, can't write, man. They take, they'll yeah. take like weeks to write a song. <laughs> honestly, you did, you did no different to what artists who live and breathe music do. You did yeah, it. Like, yeah. You've done it. You've got but that was wrote. it. I was out after that. I was like, okay, now, now I've got nothing. We can do, we can do. I mean, I've seen you do disses at people. Yeah. And you write 95 songs about people. Yeah, it, it depends. It depends on how much I want to say. But, <laughs> yeah. How much I want to end their life. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to ask you, mm. who do you think is the best person at diss tracks that you've ever seen? This mm. isn't a YouTube question. This is a- Yeah. Like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can say I yourself. Think, I think, I, I, I do rate myself highly, but I do like Chip, Chip a lot. Yeah. Because the reason why I like Chip is he, I always find when I listen to his disses, he says stuff that I wouldn't have said, I wouldn't even have thought to say. And I, I just find his ones are different. Everyone else is like, I, I, I kind of know, like, you know, when I, when I hear like a, a Dot Rotten, I know what he's, he's going to say. Like a, it, I know yeah, his talent, he's yeah. sick, he's cold. I, I know, I get it. Gets as well, amazing, I get it. With Chip, he always says something where I'm like, I always wonder, okay, how are you gonna tackle this? And he just does something I don't I didn't expect. He says yeah. something I don't expect. Like he always spins it around in a different way where I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Do you know what I mean? That's good, so yeah. for me, it's always like chip. And he can do it without like being, you know, road or anything. You know? Yeah. Mm. Like there was I was talking to him the other day because I was watching his um his clash with Bugs and Malone. And like I think Bugs and Malone said something about Chip, like 
getting GCSEs. And then Chip's reply was like, um, <laughs> his reply was something about, man's talking about A's and, A's and B's, B's or something. Or something. Yeah. Like man can't ride or ride yeah. yeah, 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 or yeah, something. Yeah. And I, I just find that so funny <laughs> because I wouldn't have even bothered to even reply yeah, to that, yeah, but yeah. he did. Like, yeah. And I just find it so funny. He always spins things. Yeah. In a way where I wouldn't. So I just, I just, yeah, I like how Chip does he, it. He's too cold. I was saying this to Sparky actually on the GTA because a lot of artists um, are very like, they've got their, their style, mm. but like Sparky, just, he knows how to like ride the beat. You know, yeah, he, know, he yeah. knows how to treat the beat in a way that the song works. And Chip does that like yeah. better than anyone. Yeah. You had the, the Young Philly track. Yeah. yeah, and his so verse on that is ridiculous. ridiculous. And he literally says something about, oh, this verse is perfection. Yeah. I was like, you know what actually is? Like, I'm listening yeah, to it, I'm yeah, like, yeah. it actually is. He just, yeah. it's, it goes mad, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, he's good, man. He's so good. And like, he doesn't, I don't think he writes. No, I, 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 it doesn't seem like he even tries. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure when we did Stuttering, he did the verse of Stuttering, it was very much go in the booth, did a line, and then he'd, listened to it back, did another line, and he was just going, he was just yeah. flowing. Yeah. Was just whatever came to mind. Sort of I, thing. I love that, man. I like that a lot. Yeah. I just get so gassed when I, like, when there's rumors of people about to start having beef, I'm like, oh, please, please. <laughs> I need these, I need diss tracks. Yeah. yeah. Just means you're yeah. gonna get like 10 songs within three weeks. Yeah. There that is something about diss tracks that is so pure and so entertaining, but the only downside is that it gets real really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and that yeah. side of it is annoying, because it's like, yeah. It stops the music. Yeah, that's the main thing why I kind of stopped all of that is because like, like it's it's great because yeah. it's everyone trying to be at their best, mm -hmm, mm, their mm. best ability. Like any MC or rapper, you're going to hear them be their best in a clash because yeah. they have to prove a point. But then at the same time, yeah, the, the, the whole negative side of it comes and it, it can be so real, it can go outside of music. So that's why I kind of like, stepped away from it all. I think if clashes were solely about abilities, like I'm better than you, then mm. it would be a lot healthier, a lot better. Yes. But yeah. now, nowadays it's turned into, I can embarrass this person. I can yeah. literally yeah. stop their income. Like, Well, that was the 50 cent effect, didn't it? Exactly. That's my, exactly <laughs> that. Like completely annihilate them on social media and everything. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. even when I look back at my ones and I'm like, I was talking about like Big H got, got filmed in a in a Peugeot, mm. and like really, it doesn't matter that he was in a Peugeot. No, no. But it's because he had a song called German Whip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then it's like he just everyone was annihilating him because of that. <laughs> I was just I mean? about to say you had to try a lot harder for Dot Rotten than yeah. Big H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%, yeah. Big H's one was yeah. You didn't do that many disses on him, right? No, because that that was more about Lord of the Mic. So that was more like writing a few lyrics for just for that. It was like set within rounds. And it was like, write the lyrics for the rounds. And that was cool. It wasn't really like a dub thing. It wasn't really anything like that. My, I, I really, they didn't really have any animosity towards him. Mm. I only clashed him because he said a lyric about Jamie okay. that I didn't like. Yeah. And I was like, do you know what? I want to do something about that. And that was the whole reason I ended yeah. up going on Lord of the Mics against him. To so honest. he said a lyric about Jamie after they'd done a song. I think he, I don't know if it was after or before. I don't, I don't actually know, but I just remember hearing it. And I was like, what? I was like, nah, man. And I remember speaking to people and everyone was just like, oh, that's just what he's like. And I was just like, nah, man, that's not cool. He can't <laughs> be like that. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. No, yeah. no, nah, no. Nah, nah. So yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do Lord of the Mics. So it, it actually started out as like just, you know, Lord of the Mics, you know, a clash. Yeah. And then it didn't go sideways. It didn't go like out of hand, but it was like, it was getting tense. It was getting tense. So I, I, I remember we kind of nipped it in. A, it got nipped in the bud at the right time. It was like, it was cool. Yeah, all all my clashes has been cool. I've been in like, I mean, the Dot Rotten one I could say was it to an extent was mm -hmm. actually once we was doing dubs, it was fine. Yeah, it was before that the whole drama was, which people don't know. People think the drama came after the dubs mm. or during the dubs, mm. but it was actually before. So, the actual clash for me, it was a sick clash. Yeah, do you yeah. Know what I mean, the dubs yeah. gives you energy, right? It's just like you got yeah. a new, like, like you say, you're trying to be the best. If you make a normal song, or, 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 even though you're trying to be really good, yeah. you, get, you get to a point where you're like, oh, that's good enough. I, I don't yeah. need to fix that line. It's nice. Yeah. When it's a diss track, you're, or, or, you know, you're like, right, I gotta make sure this is like yeah. top, top, top tier. Yeah. And you do it fast. You have to do it fast, right? You got the oh, pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the pressure of like, yeah. if you don't release it, then, then you know, you're gonna be called yeah. like a no show. Da, 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 so, but I still listen to real talk, like. Mm. <laughs> Every couple of days, yeah. yeah, it's sick. It's mad. I was I was touring at the time, like I was doing a whole bunch of shows. So like that's why all the videos are like like real talk was like me waiting for my I was next in barbers. <laughs> so we just walked around the back of the state, filmed, yeah, 
had a haircut, went to a show. <laughs> That's like, sick. And the next one, you'll see him in a car park. I'm actually in a car park in Brighton going to do my show. <laughs> we parked up, all right, cool, we got half an hour, quickly filmed That's sick, when man. I did the show. So literally all those dubs, I'm in car parks and shit because it's like before a show, after a show, or yeah. doing something, yeah. Like, banging, it was man. quite a mad time. So it was like, for me, it was fun, it was exciting because there's like so much going on. But um, yeah, man. Do you still ever talk to Ed Sheeran? Yeah, I was talking the other day, literally. I find it's so it's so weird that he has that original album. Yeah. Mm -mm. Of like, because he's, he's got you on it, Jamie. Wiley. Wiley, Gets, yeah. Devlin, yeah. And it's just, it's weird. Yeah. Like the difference that he's like, yeah. he's gone to do like full pop. Yeah. And then it's he's just, done that it's just album. It's just because he's like, because he's so talented and, and I think his come up was so pure that like he could have easily been, well, how do I say, he could have easily been limited, right, into what mm. he could do. He could have mm. like stayed in the UK, stayed, but he's gone so global. Yeah. But like he's still just a normal person. That's what yeah. I mean though, but it's weird seeing like the music he's making now and then he's making songs that like fit Devlin. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Like the uh, the four young guns, that, I don't know yeah. that song, him, Yasmin yeah. and someone else. Yeah, like he's just, I've always known him as just the most talented guy I've ever met. He's a better rapper than me. People don't know. People don't know, but Ed Sheeran can rap. Yeah. Like, like I'm talking like we was backstage at um, a Nottingham show. Me, him, Big Nasty, and a few others. And he was like mucking around, and this guy was like doing Eminem level rap. Fucking like, hell! Like seriously, I was just looking at him like. <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing this? Where's yeah. your guitar? I was like, where's your guitar? What? Yeah. yeah, he was he was so good, and like he, he there is certain songs you you if you listen properly and you hear his actual technical ability, you yeah. can actually realize no, this guy, it doesn't j just sing like he's mm -hmm. actually mad talented and he writes he writes for loads of people. Yeah, no, he does, he does. Yeah. Even the uh, I remember the Liam Liam Payne track, you know. Uh, he did a song that went massive and it's Ed, Sh Ed Sheeran wrote it. But it's like TikTok, I've only just found that out, I think. Yeah. And I see TikToks and they're like, oh my God, wait, I thought it was Ed Sheeran. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, but, you know. He wrote uh, Justin Bieber's My Mum Don't Like You, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that was a huge song. He's, just, yeah. he's next level, man. Yeah. But like, but you can tell that like, his origin was a very, um, you know, very like, Hip hop beat inspired, mm. like yeah, it, it, yeah. it was loop pedal. Like the, the, yeah, him, yeah. him on the loop pedal is just hip hop production, yeah. just live. Um, and that's where that's where I first heard of it. I think that's, that SPTV video yeah, was one yeah, of his yeah. big like breaks, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I met him at uh, there was an event. I think it was called I Love Live. Mm. It was like a that's where you go and kind of perform with a live band, and then they have like a kind of like an open mic sort of session where you can go on. Yeah, and I just remember they did going on um going on a stage and singing. I think it was a Bob Marley track, Mad. and he just took the whole place by storm. Cause we was all like, Who, who's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And everyone, I remember everyone was swarming him, everyone was swarming him. And um, yeah, Jamal was like, yo, like come and do something at SBTV. And that's yeah. when Jamal was doing the whole uh, acoustic sessions and mm -hmm. stuff. And um, it was sick, man. But yeah, he was just, he's still the same guy. Mm. Down mm. to earth, money doesn't matter, streams doesn't matter. Yeah, like, yeah. It, yeah, we literally talk all the time. Like, That's sick, man. Yeah, yeah. we talk, about, talk about our kids. We, we don't really talk about music. Because only literally the other day, I was like, I've got something like you could actually go on. But yeah. Like, and I sent it to him and I was like, when you finish your tour and we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, do yeah. something. But yeah, he's, um, I think cold. he's on holiday now. He yeah. just did Wembley five <laughs> times in a row. Yeah, like, it's a joke, isn't it? Yeah. It's a joke. Half a million people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what was that lyric that he did in his track? Because he doesn't really brag that much, does he? But then when he doesn't brag, the one with yeah. Stormzy, Stormzy, where it's like yeah. Yeah. Made, a made a half a mil from the Divide Tour or something. No, like half that. a bill. Half a bill from yeah, the Divide Tour. Yeah, it's like half a bill from the Divide Tour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's one. <laughs> and it's like most rappers will probably like exaggerate a little bit. Yeah, he's probably he's probably under exaggerating. Yeah, he's, he's probably under. like that's what I know of. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Just what, that's just what I'm allowed to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not what the that's label generated. He worded it wrong. It's actually per night. Yeah, but he's good because he like he's he I think he. Definitely understood the, uh, he, he knows the difference between social media and, yes. I, I hear him talk about it a lot. Mm. He's like, when I'm on social media, I'm promoting my music. Yeah. I'm not on there for myself, you no. know. He's, he's, he, has no, he has no phone, right? So no, sometimes yeah, yeah. We he just gets through, emails. Oh, yeah. sick, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so odd, though. That's it's so, mad, isn't it? But it's good, yeah. though, because it gives you time, right? When yeah, you're writing yeah. an email, I feel like you actually, like. You sit down and mm. go through it. It reminds me of um, uh, Eminem Stan, where he talks about when he finally gets to read yes. the letter. Yeah, 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 yeah. He sits down and goes through it, because his life is busy. Yeah. Ed literally is touring the world and like, literally he will tour that entire country and then do like, you won't see him for years, mm -hmm. literally. Like, yeah, yeah, man. But people don't realize.
That is mad. Yeah, like, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a tour, like a you know, two week, two three week tour. Mm. His his tour's like three years. Yeah. No, seriously. It's <laughs> and then you're back, and then it's an album for yeah. the next one. You know. I don't think people people realize he hasn't had like seven albums out. Like, yeah. He literally puts out an album, and that album goes for years. <laughs> it's just Wasn't crazy. there? There was one year where like Justin Bieber did. It was like he did something like 320 shows. Yeah. Didn't he have in like a year the or something, or something like that? I'm pretty sure it's just to be like, he, like we, we, we say we got burnt out, you know, oh, I got burnt out, I'm stressed one day, but he actually like, like went to the hospital because like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. his stress was too much. Yeah. Is, yeah. And I think also like when you perform, you get ill, right? You get ill very yeah, easily. Yeah, like yeah, the JJ yeah. had to like, cancel shows before yeah, and yeah. you see the fans, they're like, really angry. Yeah. I'm there like backstage and JJ's just like dying. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, so they you don't understand. Realize. They don't and, and then, but then on this level, when it's like hundreds of thousands of people in a stadium, yeah. That must be on your chest he really heavily to cancel a show like that. It must really hurt them, you know? And he doesn't have the backing Jesus. of like a DJ or the, the, the backing track. It's yep. him. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's literally all, the whole show is down to him. <laughs> that, that on your shoulder, I couldn't do that. No, I rate him so much. No, no. Do you have a song you like performing the most? Um, Or a song that you hate performing, but you do it because it is big. I hate performing slang like this. Really? It was one of my biggest songs. Yeah. Never ever liked performing it. Really? Why? Because I freestyled it. It was a freestyle song. Oh. Shit. So it like, it it just didn't really, it just felt like, oh, like, I didn't put my all into this. I, there was no punchlines. There was no metaphors. I wasn't trying. Yeah. But it became one of my biggest songs at that time during dubstep. It changed the shape of dubstep. It literally made everyone want dubstep vocals and it opened so many doors. I'm grateful for it, but I was always like, it was too easy because it was a freestyle and it was just very basic. I just found it so easy to perform. It was just like, I barely, it got to a point where I didn't have to perform it. The beat dropped and I didn't have to say anything. Mad. They just sang it all. Mad. And it's like amazing. There you go, you yeah, have yeah, to yeah. perform it then. No, but that's what, <laughs> that is amazing. But it's like, I, I always like, you know, putting in an effort, like at the yeah. start of my sets now, there's a beat that comes on where I just flow. I just, it's not sing along. It's just, I flow okay, yeah. really fast to get people to actually see my ability. Yeah. And now it's get, you know, it's get that response of mad. he's going mad. The crowd, the crowd literally demand a reload. Do you know what okay, I mean? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll send you a clip of it. Uh, yeah, I yeah, did yeah. fabric the other day and I did that, but like, yeah, sang like this, it was just, I didn't have to do anything. So it was like, oh. it was like amazing. But at the same time, it's like, I'm literally doing nothing. And they're just, you know what I mean? They're just going to do it all for me. Mm. But I was, I was, I was grateful at the time. Another one was um, Ho Rhythm was another one that was big for me at, my, at that time. Like all these songs were getting millions of views when artists like me weren't getting millions. Yeah. It, was, it was unheard of. A grime yeah. MC independent getting a million views. It was impossible mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. that point, but I was just knocking them out and getting That's them. Sick. And Ho Rhythm, I actually hated when I recorded really? it. I didn't like the beat. I didn't like the lyrics. I just, oh, it, was, it was one of those ones where I wouldn't have released it. Mm -hmm. but I was actually doing it as a favor for Black Butter Records. Like I started their record label with My that band. Okay, song. Yeah. So you did it for them and then- I did it for them. Yeah. And now they're massive Black Butter <laughs> Records with Jay Huss and Sick. everything. But I, yeah, I literally did it for them. And I was just like, oh, I don't know about this song, man. But we did the video, we put it out and it just became massive. It was just massive. And even now, anyone anyone I see at Black Butter who comes up to me and they're like, P, big up, man, like you started us. And I was just like, bro, I didn't even like that song, but <laughs> <laughs> it's mad. It's, yeah, so now I'm like, I, that taught me that even if I don't like it, someone else might. Yeah. So I still just put stuff out now, no matter how I feel, I just I just put it out. You need to listen to that. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> who is playing something? He's just like, oh, I want to change it, I want to change it, but it's going to be out this Friday. Yeah, I, I did that with a song, I changed the snare. Yeah. And then I, so I was, I posted it. I was uploading it to like the distributor. Yeah. And I was like, oh no, I need to change it. So I, I cancelled it, exported it again with a new snare, sent mm. it, and woke up on the podcast. And I was like, I, dro I drove here, and the snare ain't right, and it's still on the track now. I have to change it. It really pissed me off. But I also have another song that I put into uh, in, in GTA. Mm. I, I was like, I don't like the song. Yeah. Played it there, and everyone's going off. It's Everybody, like, oh, this is yeah. fucking real. This is unreal. Yeah. And I'm like. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't yeah. like it at all. But I guess, as you say, sometimes music's better for other people, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 
Yeah. So yeah, you could put it out. But you spoke about freestyling. Um, yeah. Freestyling is obviously something that's quite, not to bring it all the way back to GTA, but it's quite big on the server, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I heard, I saw some comments that, um, regarding your freestyles where you stopped doing them. Yeah. And I I know why now because yeah, I, I, I did freestyling, right, with Wicked in the, in the, uh, in the studio and it's, it's sick, right? I'm yeah. killing it. And then I wake up and there's a clip on YouTube, the 20K views, which is probably, you know, pretty good for like you know, GTA stuff. And it's just off. Offbeat. Uh, offbeat, man. Whereas whoever's record, whoever's. So it's like, if, if I'm playing the beat on my stream, people forget that even though in his headphones, he's hearing the beat and he's on beat, our streams are not exactly yeah. in sync. Yeah. So when they upload the, the footage from my stream, he sounds fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like that. When I first saw that, I was like, oh my God, I'm on YouTube sounding like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know, man. I was like, never again. So now I don't freestyle. I don't I do not do anything. If then someone else playing a beat, I just listen. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm not saying a thing. Are the freestyles away. in their actual freestyles? Yeah, some people will like do writtens, yeah. but yeah. they'll let it known. They're not, they're not there saying, oh, I'm like, mm. I'm, you just just put, a, a, you know, um, one of their verses on the on the new beat. Yeah. But uh, I need to I need to get like a collection of beats. So whenever everyone asks to freestyle, I'll, I'll say, nah, I'm, I'm yeah, playing it. Just, yeah. I, I did an event, right? Uh, like a Freestyle Friday in there. Okay. And I said to them, I'm only doing it if I can play the beat. Yeah. And I got there and I said to them, I'm not doing it if I can't do the beat. And they were like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I need to learn to be, better, be more forceful in the game and yeah, stand my ground more. But- it's Don Dolph, bro. I know, yeah, bro, I know, bro. I know. <laughs> but, 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 but I said to them and they were like, no, 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 bro. Uh, oh, don't worry, man, relax. Like just try and be in time, you know? And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm like, I can be in time, yeah. but I'm saying, they won't hear it in time. Yeah. And they kept saying, nah, man, look, freestyling, you know, they kept advising me on freestyling. Yeah. I was like, bro, no, you're not getting I, it. You're not getting it, it yeah, man. Yeah. And then I did it, watched it back on someone's clip and it was all out of time. Yeah. And the worst part is the audience don't understand what I mean either. Yeah, they don't, so they yeah. don't think, they don't think, oh, it's, 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 it's uh, you know, desync, you know, uh, the, the ping, etc. Yeah. They just think I'm crap. Yeah. <laughs> it's mad, <laughs> I'm like, bro, it? like, yeah. <laughs> it's actually mad. So now, yeah, so I just bad. don't, I'm like, nope. Not doing it. We the other day was all in the studio. Everyone's freestyle and P get involved. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. So what's next for you? Like, um, have you got anything coming up? Uh, yeah, multiple projects. So I've got the DMB album, which will probably come yeah. out next year. Okay. Um, you, got, you sound so good on that music, man. Like you really just fucking that. sound yeah. so good. Do you know what's mad? I, back in the day, I used to go to uh, our, our friend's house who had Dex when I, when I first was in a crew. It was like me, Little D and a, a few others mm. from my school. And I used to just, like once the set had finished, I used to turn the, the pitch all the way down. So it was like super fast. Okay. So I was MCing, trying to MC on time, even though it was super fast. Yeah. And I could actually, I found I could do it. Yeah, yeah. So, and then that helped me kind of like practice learning a fast flow and stuff. And then I just, that's always stuck with me. And my mum used to listen to Jungle mm. back in the day. Mm. So I kind of was familiar with the tempo anyway. So then, yeah, once I started actually doing it and doing songs, I was like, oh, I actually sound all right on this. Cause I've, I've never done rap. Yeah, yeah. I've never really done rap, always did grime. And I've always wanted to do rap, but I just always felt like, oh, I don't sound as good as these rappers. That's what I thought. I always think I don't sound as good on rap as I do on grime. Mm. So I stick to what I sound good on. Yeah. But then with drum and bass, I found I could rap on it. Yep. And it sounded good to me. Yeah. So that's why I started doing it. It does work, man. Like, it really, really yeah. works. Like, mm. it's, it's also feel like it feels, it's not, it's not like new, but it feels like a new sound yeah. for people who aren't, you know, and like you're bridging the gap between different yeah. genres again, you know? Yeah. yeah um, and it's, yeah. So it's a good way to kind of combine those. But yeah, I found drum and bass doesn't have like, like they have like MCs and rappers, but not, they don't really re release songs mm. and yeah, stories okay. and yeah. stuff. So I was talking about like Buster Red is talking about, when I was young and it's like in depth, it's like you can listen to it as a as a track on Spotify, yeah. but you could rave to it as well, mm -hmm. which is what I think what it, how you feel. It's like, it feels fresh, it feels yeah. new because yeah. it's just, it's a different style. So yeah, I've been doing that. So I'm gonna bring out an album worth of it. Um, that'll come out like next year. I've got a single coming out from that project in August with Example. Okay, I've known, sure. I've known Example for years. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. And I was like, bro, man, I need one of those big hooks that you do yep, yep, um, yep. for this project. And um, he's been liking drum and bass recently as well. Mm -hmm. So he jumped on it and um, I said, yeah, man, we'll, we'll shoot a video um, while he's over. He's come over, he just performed at Silverstone. Mad, oh, mad, day. mad. Yeah, yeah so. He was uh, there? Yeah, I was there. I didn't oh, see him there. there. Have I, yeah, I must there be in a different area. Yeah, there was like a like a festival I saw for for Silverstone. I don't know if it was at the racetrack or someone mm. somewhere near. Yeah, but I was watching footage. It was pretty. Because he lives in Australia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he lives in yeah. Australia now. Yeah, man. But um, 
yeah, so DMB project next year. Then I've got Money Over Everyone 4, which is the fourth sequel of my, my grand mixtape, oh. which will come out October. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I tour, I tour Australia, New Zealand, November. Mad. Um, and then I'm doing this No Pixel album, which is literally just tracks from No Pixel. Yeah. And that doesn't really have a date yet. It's just when, it, when it's done, I can bring it out because I'm bringing it out on a whole new identity. Like I'm going to call it P Pixel or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or Pixel Money. And That's sick. Yeah, yeah, pixel Money. Pixel Money is like good. Pixel yeah, money. yeah, yeah. It's good. Call it Pixel Money. So on Spotify, it's Pixel Money. Yeah, YouTube, Pixel yeah. Money. And because it's it's whole, it's its own new thing. I don't need to like wait for my other projects to come out. It mm. won't actually mess with my IR, IRL stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's its own thing. Yeah. So that is literally as and when it's ready, it'll just come out. And I'll I'll be getting like all GTA videos shot. And I, wanna, I said I want to do something cool where it's like the video might start IRL mm-hmm. and then I sit down, I, I, I get on the keyboard and then it goes that's into the cold. game and yeah, that yeah. side of music video starts and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, at the moment, that's the, those are the main things I've been working on. And then obviously just finding time to be with my family. I've had a newborn. Mm, yeah, congrats, little, man. Yeah, congrats. my second son. So um, yeah, I just- Step your game up. <laughs> <laughs> Go get two now. <laughs> How's that been though? You know? It's been good, man. It's been really good. He's, he's luck, luckily he's been such a chilled baby. Yeah. It was a stressful time because um, like, we was back and forth with the hospital. For yeah. Like, so the, the reason why I stopped playing No Pixel for like three months is because we was back and forth at the hospital because um, they were saying uh, my missus might have a, what's it called? It's like diabetes, but not diabetes. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, there's yeah. a certain name for it. So what the, when that happens, normally that means the baby's gonna get really big and mm-hmm. be too big, like, for a natural birth. Yeah. So they fought that very early. So we was back and forth doing hella tests. Blood pressure was high, yeah. all this stuff. So we're back and forth in hospital. So I'm literally like there from the morning all the way to the evening. I yeah. can't stream, I can't yeah, home, yeah, I need yeah. to go to sleep so I can be back there in the morning. Yeah. Obviously with COVID, you're only allowed there certain times, certain oh, bro, people. Yeah. So it was, it, was, it was really long and stressful. And then it turned out, you know, it, what, that wasn't even the issue. Oh man. They were doing things wrong. So oh. we was angry now, angry and right. stressed. That, yeah. You know, they were meant to be checking her blood pressure manually, where, you know, the old school, they put it around your arm and check it, but they were doing it via the machine. Right. But then one nurse is telling us, yo, they shouldn't be doing that because okay. that doesn't read pregnant women properly. Yeah. So I'm like. Yeah, well, Laura had the same. She had really high blood pressure every time we went to the hospital. And then we tested it at home and it was always fine. Exactly. That's yeah. what we was having. Yeah. So we're arguing with them like, maybe it's you guys stressing her because when we're at home, she's fine. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? same, So yeah. it's like, but then you don't want to, you, you feel bad because you're like, are you, if you don't go to the hospital, you, are you causing any damage to your to your yeah, child? Yeah, So you feel bad, you want to go. So it's like, it, it, was, it, was yeah. a stress, it was quite a stressful time, but luckily, you know, Mason came mm-hmm. tiny, small. Mm-hmm. It was a, we had a cesarean. Yeah. Crazy experience. Really? Yeah. My, my first born was, was born naturally. Um, but yeah, this was a cesarean, crazy experience. You know, I was in there talking to my missus, trying to keep her calm. Yeah. And then like, I don't know why, I just got this glimpse of <laughs> everything that was happening. And I was like, oh shit. What's going on? And then she's like, what's going on? I was like, nothing, like, no, nothing. Just, are, are you in any pain? Like, she's like, no, I can't feel a thing. I was like, you sure? She's like, you're getting me worried. I was like, oh, nothing, nothing. Like, nothing's happening. Like, I tried to make right. her believe it's not even started yet. Yeah. yeah. These times she just opened up on the table, everything. I'm just like, oh my God. Like, I started to go dizzy. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like, no, this is crazy. And then I just, you just heard the baby scream and it was like, it's like quite Fuck. a touching moment. Yeah, like for sure. What you see on TV. Mm. All the time I used to think they exaggerate on TV. Like, oh, they don't That's happen exactly like that. Yeah, yeah. bro, bro everyone told me like, um, it's not what you see on TV. Yeah. And I was in there, I was like, this is. This <laughs> is, it was what, exactly what I saw on TV. It was all a touching moment. Everything. Yeah. And then like, the way that the way they protected my my son to me because we didn't find out what sex it was. Oh, okay, so okay. We just heard this this scream and I was like, oh, you know, like the, the baby's here. She just, oh, do you want to see what you got? Presented balls first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just kids balls in my face. Yo, I was like, okay, it's I a boy now, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a boy. All right. <laughs> yeah, smart. it was crazy, but yeah, um, luckily, yeah. Um, Cesarean went well. My yeah, that's good. Covered so fast, mm. like people can't believe she had one. Oh wow! Like, wow. They, they honestly, she's showing no signs that she even had one. Yeah, that's sick. like barely, barely any scar. Yeah, up, up and down doing walks, everything. Yeah, yeah. So, that's so, good. Yeah, from the well. initial period that you've 
had a second child, mm. is the first or second easier? Second. Second's okay. easier. Yeah. So there you go, have another one, you'll be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah so first is that you obviously, you, no child's ever born the same, nothing's no. ever the same, but you you do know a lot more once it's the second time around. You not kind of know how to deal with things. A lot more it, prepared. Yeah, you're a bit more prepared. Like we had everything ready. I built the whole nursery, everything. Mm-hmm. Like everything was just, we was prepared. Even when they said, right, we need to have an, a cesarean, we was prepared. We, we already planned everything. I was able to keep her calm. Do you know what I mean? I was able to talk to her and say, you know, it's going to be all right. Don't panic. Because they do this thing where they tell you all the worst case scenarios because they have to. And then it makes you think about just that. But yeah. what, what you need to remember is that's not what it is. They're just telling you this is what it could be. Do you know what I mean? So I was I was actually able to keep her calm and remind her like, no, they're not saying that's the problem. They're saying it, that could be the problem. Don't panic yet. They're going to find yeah, out yeah. and stuff. But it's been really good, man. He, uh, luckily, uh, he, he's a quiet baby, you know, sleeps. He just, he like he likes to sleep. He just <laughs> nice, chills, nice. wakes up, feed, chills. He just looks around the room. <laughs> like, I put a video video up on my Instagram yesterday where I'm, I'm, I'm in the car with him and I'm just, I've just fed him and I'm chilling and he's just making noises like he's talking to me. And Sick. that's that's all he does. He chills. Yeah, to, yeah. He doesn't really cry unless it's, it's for a reason. Mm-hmm. Like nappy change. At least change you know that there's nothing there's wrong. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like nappy change or hungry or tired. That is it. Yeah. So luckily it's been really, really smooth, really easy. My Same first on. son, Carter, loves being a bigger brother. Like, yeah. Loves it. Loves helping out. How, how old's um, the first first son? He's eight now. Oh, sick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's worth so big brother properly eight. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, proper. Have proper. you played No Pixel while holding the baby? No, but I played FIFA. Okay. That's I, what he does. That's what he does. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know how, because I can't do, I have like, where a, do you balance? I have, a, I have my desk, so I'll have her like this, yeah. and I'm, I'm got, I'm pushed to talk on my mouth. Ma- oh, okay. So my friend in game carries me around. <laughs> yeah. So if we do meetings, oh. she'll carry me. <laughs> have, you ever see, yeah. have you ever see him just over yeah, someone's shoulder? Yeah, just over the shoulder. It's because he's holding the baby. Yeah, yeah. he's holding the baby. And but then sometimes, if I'm oh. lucky, if the baby's sleeping properly, like proper, like honked out, I can like put her on the desk, yeah, keep yeah. her head on my arm, and then I got my hand here. Yeah. So sometimes I'm like that, but I have to say, because no pixel, the hardest part is you can't talk about real life, right? No, yeah. So like when I'm with the baby, I have to say I'm going to a the baby concert. So yeah, I'm always yeah, like, yeah. I'm just going to the baby concert real yeah, quick yeah, in my yeah, head, yeah, you know? And then yeah. She picks me up, takes me around. Um, yeah. But yeah, FIFA, I guess, FIFA you can get like. Yeah, you kind of like sometimes he's here or he's like laying on my chest. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm kicking ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, it's it's annoying because on FIFA you can't talk, you can't talk to the person. No, yeah. no, no. So I want to tell them like, oh, you know, I just smoked you with a baby in my arms. Like, <laughs> like, I want to be, I want to. Sometimes I want to get toxic and message them like, bro, I wrapped you up like with a baby in my arms. Like, how'd you feel? But. I just don't. <laughs> That's classic FIFA, man. Yeah, yeah. Really I, cool. I, I, was, I was doing a song. I was playing a song the, the other day. Mm. Uh, so I had a baby here and I was playing a song and my song's on my uh, mouse. So yeah. to, to play, I have to push the talk here. And Laura's woken up and she's panicking. Like she doesn't know where the baby is. Yeah. And I can see the text coming through and she's calling me, but I can't answer. Because yeah. either I've stopped playing the music to like thousands of people yeah. or, or like I have to let go of the baby. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. she was really mad at me. She got really angry. Is it? <laughs> Oh God. She's feels fine now, but yeah. you know what like, a mother's like? She yes. wakes up, she doesn't know where yeah, the baby yeah, is. Yeah. She's thinking, what the fuck, you know? Yeah. She doesn't want to come in in case I'm streaming. So it's, it was long, but yeah. that, was, that was the only hiccup we had. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, it's been, it's been really good. Like even balancing it with like streaming and studio. I just said, right, these are the days that I will, I will do stuff. Mm. And the other days I'll do nothing. And then what I always do is if I know I'm going to stream in the evening, I'll make sure I'm around all day to help Yeah, her. yeah, yeah. So That's she fun, gets right, yeah. time to just chill, do whatever she wants to do. Yeah. So then she'll do the night shift and yeah, it's, it's, it's we're, we're quite a team, so. That's it's good, man, it's all a balance, it's isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know? But it's it. also, you feel lucky that we can do what we do, right? Yeah. Because you know a lot of people have to go straight to work and yeah. they're on their own working and their partner's on their own yeah, at home. Yeah, Whereas when, yeah. when you do what we do, we can make up for time and balance mm. it, you know? Yeah, so. you can, we kind of work at any time. Like it's like a 24 hour job. It's like you just yeah. pick the hours you do stuff. But yeah. yeah, I'm lucky that I can do that because some people, yeah, like, I even went to like NCT classes, which is like classes where couples who are about to have a baby all go and learn anything they need mm-hmm. to learn. And um, yeah, all the all the other men, there was a guy there wearing no two ways, by the way. Mad. And I was like, Mad. Oh. I was like, yo. Yeah, <laughs> twins one. Yeah, yeah I was like, sick. I was sick. Like, someone I completely didn't, like, I, I don't think he knows mm-hmm. Calyx or anything. I was like, bro, like, but- That's um, sick. Yeah, like he, uh, like all of the guys there were like, yeah, like, the, literally a week or two after the baby's born, they're back at work for long hours. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, that's mad. Like the woman's gonna be at home and yeah. just, do you know what I mean? But it's like, for me, I can be at home, I can work from home or 
you know, I could, I could adjust my hours. So, it's, yeah, like you said, we're lucky. Yeah, no, yeah. Do you ever get anyone, um, like when your kids at school, for example, mm. do any of their friends' parents, are they ever like, oh my God, like your P money? All the time. How Everyone. How is that? Because even now, so that NCT class, they found out who I am. Someone, mm. someone somehow knows who I am now. And like, my missus went out with all the women and they was like, so, Paris is a rapper. And I was like, <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> hey, man. Who snitch, bro? Like, but, um, <laughs> yeah, jokes. even like, yeah, when I when I picked my son up, like, I had these seven year olds come up to me. You're rich. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, you're definitely you're a rapper. Songs, video. You, I've seen you on YouTube. Kid, show me. Look, I got you on YouTube. Oh, it was mad. It's like, and it's like. It's the, that's the only time I've ever wanted to say, nah, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Because it's, it's like, it's just mad, proper School, young kids, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? I, I want my son to focus, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do you know yeah. what I mean? I don't want him to be the cool kid. I don't yeah, want him to be yeah, that, yeah. do you know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm like, don't be telling these these kids <laughs> that because <laughs> yeah. you, you, he's got PS5, he's got everything, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I'm like, don't be telling these kids that like, you just got some rich dad. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Don't, yeah, yeah. don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's quite funny. But yeah, teachers all the time. You get, I get teachers like, I've I've had a teacher like even reach out like via my son. Like, that's wait it, for it, what? Like a picture or like just to say like, um, yo, I listen to you. <laughs> and my son come home. Yo, my teacher said, bro, and I'm like. <laughs> Why is your teacher doing that, man? Yeah, yeah. Yo, tell her don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> you are not her messenger. You're my child. Don't, yeah. this, that's not what. I, that's not how this works. Sending notes back and forth. <laughs> yeah, like, like yeah, it's funny though. Know, and then when I saw her, I was just like, oh, big up. And she was like, yeah, you know, big fan and stuff. Yeah. yeah it's like, so I always yeah. think it must be weird, like, when your kid gets to thirteen, fourteen, all the way till you know they leave school. Mm. They're at the age where they understand what you actually do, like yeah. fully. Yeah. And they'll have you know they'll have idols that will do similar things to you. Yeah. And then all their friends, like there will be a percentage of their friends that know you. Yeah. yeah. And is that not gonna, I feel like that's gonna be so weird. My, my niece is around about that, that age now. She's going into secondary school. Yeah. But she um, doesn't really watch like a lot of stuff. So they've kind of been doing well to kind of take her away from that, mm. the, our world. <laughs> yeah. But she knows who I am, all the, cause they've told her and stuff. But then she came up to me like a, a year or two ago and she just looks me in the eyes and goes, no one from my school knows who you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, fucking all right, sorry. Yeah, all right. You get proper annoyed, didn't it? Like, it hurts. They just don't care. Like, <laughs> when kids say stuff, it, it hits. Like, it really hits. Like, yeah. I thought no one knows you either. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what? Yeah, yeah, I just think it's going to be so odd when that happens. Like, it's going to be weird. Yeah. I, I've seen it from even younger. Like, my, my niece is like two, and then from, from she's been born, like, her mum and dad always play my videos and stuff on mm. the TV. So she, as she's grown, she's naturally seen my face on the TV. So when I come, she gets a different excitement. Like when I when I when I come to the house, she, yeah, she knows. Like she almost sometimes points like to oh, say wow. like that's him. Like that's you know cold, what I mean? Like, yeah. It's, yeah, it's quite mad. But yeah, even like with my my son, my son fully understands like who my friends are, like he mm. knows, oh, okay, you know KSI, you know yeah. Stormzy, you know, like he understands these are your friends. Like sometimes he'll be like, so is Drake your friend? I'll be like, no, nah, <laughs> not, not that one, but there's others, like, <laughs> not that one, but yeah, there is others, like, you know what I mean? Like he, now he's starting to connect. Okay, cool, yeah. so daddy's a rapper. So when he sees certain rappers, he'll be like, do you know this one? Do you know this one and and stuff? But yeah, it's it's. It's it's really cool, but mm. at the same time, it is weird because yeah. he's starting to make beats now. I've got oh, him this sick. thing where he can make like little sick. rhythms and, and little loops and stuff, and he's proper into it. Proper like he genuinely likes music, and like I test him with music as well. Like if I get a beat, mm -hmm. I won't say anything. We'll just you know get in the car and I'll put it on, and if it catches his attention, because kids have short attention, yeah, yeah. If it catches his attention, then I know it's 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 easy on the ears. Oh, okay, that's so sick. I find it's, it those songs do good. Yeah, it's easy on smart ears. man. Yeah, down. Yeah. I think no matter what you do, you're gonna struggle to like not be a, the like. He's gonna be the cool kid. Yeah, yeah. I feel like any anyone whose dad's a rapper is gonna be. Yeah, yeah. I gonna just, be a cool kid in the year. Yeah, I just always like discipline him to he don't go to his head and he just stops focusing. Yeah, and, yeah. And doing what he gotta, should gotta be stay doing. Humble, it's yeah. easy. I was like that when I was little. Like I got really popular in school, 
So then I just, I kind of cheated though, because like I was mucking around in school, but doing my work at home. Okay. But I, I was influencing everyone else to muck around in school as well. And they weren't, <laughs> they weren't no, no. <laughs> So when it came to Bring like, everyone else yeah, down. When it, yeah, <laughs> when it came to like, you know, doing tests and stuff, they're like, wow, like you done all your homework. Yeah. Yeah, homework. what, you didn't? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah like, then, uh, you know what I mean? That's when I started learning like now, people actually get easily influenced and follow whatever you yeah. do. No, yeah, no, yeah, legit. Yeah. I got kicked out of college for being really? a bad influence. Really? Yeah, I didn't actually do anything bad. I used to just like come in late, but I hand my work and look, I've yeah. done the work, I'm late. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm late by two hours. Yeah, I get you, I hear you. <laughs> but I've done all the work. Like, yeah, yeah, it, don't I was studying do. media, which is like, like all my videos, I write the treatments and everything. Six, six, I write six. all my video treatments because I studied media in college. Mm -hmm. So I was always doing the work and stuff and like, you know, always like doing what I needed to do and doing it at a high, high level. But yeah, I might like just coming in late. Yeah. If the teacher's telling me something I already know, I just, so what, what are you saying, man? Yeah, like, you, parents, know you know what I mean? And then, yeah. yeah, they kicked me out. Like they didn't even kick me out like properly. I just got a letter. Yeah, like just don't come back. I was oh, like, what? <laughs> That's it. I remember I went there. It was down, handwritten. Was, uh, yeah, yeah, it was literally handwritten. I was well Don't upset. come back. <laughs> yeah, I was well upset. I was like, yo, like, what's this? What do you mean? Like, yeah, basically we think that you disrupt everyone. I was like, <laughs> I'm not telling them what to do. It's your job, like, that's their yeah, job. Yeah, you know? that's your job. Like, they're like, yeah, but they see you and they copy you and you're quite popular. And I was just like, rah, that's mad that's unfair. Like, actually, oh, yeah, it's yeah. your school, isn't it? your college, okay, yeah, cool. Fair. But I actually count that as a blessing because then it made me just go full into music. Like yeah. I'd just done music, like stopped all the like running around on the street and whatever. I just focused on music because mm. of that. Mm, yeah, yeah, no, everything happens for a reason, man. Yeah. And then and also, I think school's school's good. I, I went to uni to do like um, audio engineering and um, music technology at college yeah. before that, but we have these sick mixing desks, these sick the sick equipment. But I always learn more at home, just making songs mm. and doing what I like, just doing what I learned to do on my own. Because yeah. sometimes you go you go to college, right, and they're teaching everyone. Mm. So in my class, they're teaching someone who's going to do like live sound mm. production, someone who's going to record for bands. So they, they're gonna teach me everything that they wanna learn. When I don't yeah. care about that, I just care about making yeah. beats and making engineering yeah. you know, songs and stuff. So sometimes it's better to just go and do your own thing. Yeah, <laughs> just get yeah. stuck in. Yeah, there was nowhere that taught you, you know, how to write lyrics, how you can earn money from being a rapper. Like for the very for a very long part of my career, I didn't know how to earn money from mm -hmm. it. We was just making songs, putting them on phones, yeah. putting them on MySpace or whatever, sending out links. And I didn't know you could make money from it. I didn't know about PRS, which is, you know, anything you write, if it gets played in radio or gyms or whatever, there's a fee that's paid to mm. you. I didn't know anything about that okay, for, yeah, for yeah. years in my yeah. career. Didn't know anything about that. We was just doing it. That's how they get you. That's how our labels get you because they, they know you don't know anything. Yeah. So they go, oh, we'll do all this for you. And if you actually figure it out, it's not, yeah. you can do it yourself. Yeah. Everything yourself, you know? Yeah. Independence the way forward, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if your kid said to you, I want to be a rapper. No. No, you no, don't want it. No, I, I, <laughs> you, I know you wouldn't stop them, but yeah. like, would you, would you be gassed or would you be like, let's hear something and then not decide. You're trying, you're trying to the future. <laughs> yeah, I'd, like I'd they, they come to you and do I'd, this I'd, terrible rap <laughs> offbeat. Do you know what? <laughs> no. I've always wanted to like help someone become a rapper, whether it's writing their lyrics or just helping them like mm. A&R and whatever. I've always wanted to do that or manage. I've always wanted to manage an artist. Yeah, yeah. So I would be gassed at like, okay, my son wants to do it and I can actually help him become better than what I was mm -hmm. and yeah. do all the things that I never got to do or decisions that I purposely made because of whatever reason, I know what I can do for him. So I would be gassed at that, but then I'd definitely be like, let me hear you first to see how much work I have to do <laughs> yeah. before we get to that level, you know what I mean? Like, I, but sometimes I hear him like mucking around freestyling and he, he knows how to flow. But I'm like, yeah, say words though. I'm like, say actual words, not just sounds, you know what I mean? Mm. But yeah, like, I, I, I would definitely be gassed and be up for it, but It'd be mad because I, well, I might have to clash him at the dinner table. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know keep I mean? on his like, toes. <laughs> you know what I mean, the last bit of food's there. I'm like, clash me for it. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's see. Let's see what you actually made of. You want to be the man of the house? Let's, let's go. Do you know what I mean? That is joke. What if he beats you and he's like 11? <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be so pissed. Yeah, do you know, be like, if there's footage, I'll be like, take that phone. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, that's not coming out. Not, not until I retire. But yeah, that would be sick. I, honestly, that would be a dream come true, if I'm honest, because I, it feels like the le that, that legacy through music can continue. Mm -hmm. But I would never, 
all now I haven't never encouraged him yeah. to do that or I would never do that I want him to do what he wants to do and he he likes you guys he wants to be a YouTuber streamer that's like sick, yeah, that's, sick. that's what he's into that's what he likes and I'm like okay cool I help you out like so I, you know I sit him down at my setup I show him this is how we do this this is how you do this yeah and I catch him sometimes even when he's playing with his toys he's like so here we are, like, <laughs> that's starts sick, like that. hi guys. I'm like, oh, so you're actually like catching on. Like, he's, it's like he's practicing. Yeah. And I've actually asked him, I was like, do you want me to like record you and, and like upload this stuff mm -hmm. for, you, for you to show your friends? And he's like, no, 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 like, not yet. Sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, smart. Yeah, he's a smart kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's getting ready. He wants to get ready, but he wants to do it, man. He's proper into it. My, my niece does that. She just pack up and. Really? So she'll get her mum to film and she'll sit there opening Pokemon or yeah. like, and she just pretends, you know, oh, wow, yeah. look at this one. This one's really cool. Yeah. It's sick to see, man. Yeah. You know? More people at her school probably know her than you then. True. True. <laughs> true. <laughs> a different niece, but yeah. Oh, true. okay. Yeah. <laughs> true. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, all I've got left is the weird facts. Oh my God, okay. So we have, we always do every week, we have 10 weird facts mm -hmm. and I basically just read them out and then yeah, yeah. basically you judge whether they blow your mind or not. Yeah. Cool. Some of them aren't that weird. Some Last week we aren't. had octopuses. They uh, punch fish randomly for no reason. Pardon? Yeah, a, a, a clip. A fish just swims past the octopus, just punches it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they do it just out of spite. What, that's what I was going to say. What there. a spiteful creature. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, I'll skip it a bit because this, this one's so naughty. That's like so shaky, isn't it? It's here. Look. The fish, a fish comes in from the right. Wait, uh, you, yeah. That says, here we go. The tension is. Look, you're getting ready. Oh my God. <laughs> Just because it can. Yeah. He's like, I can't swim like you, so. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, fish. That's, that's actually mad. That's actually mad. There's no reason to it, man. It's just... there, there is some spiteful animals out there. There are, there yeah. They Have are. you seen a video of there's a dog who has really, really short legs. Okay. And there's another dog that doesn't. Okay. And the dog mocks the, the short legged dog. Yeah. I've seen one where he like, mocks the owner. Purposely what? walks like that and then just stands up. Is this it? Yeah, yeah, look. Tall dog mock. <laughs> <laughs> look, and then he gets up and just looks at the other dog like, that's how you walk. <laughs> <laughs> dogs are smart man yeah man. they're smart one, i'm telling you dog yeah, dogs got personalities they do yeah, they do they, they do got, they, they do got personalities man. i'm not gonna lie i'm struggling right now to find them but you lost them go on nick throw some weird ones on google he, he sent me them but he sent the same ones again oh no it was last year uh, last week last, last week, year yeah. <laughs> what about what was the weird fact that have you seen matt from um no pixel who hangs around with the man then? Oh, I, I only saw him yesterday. I saw a compilation for the first time ever. Uh, and he said um, everyone in, was it Korea? He yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's no, yeah. born on the first. Yeah. So like, he, even if you're not born on the first, they make your birthday yeah. the first. Really? Everyone has the same birthday. That's what he said. Wait, is this, is this we, is no, no, I haven't we, looked we it, it on podcast. No, so what happens, right, is, is when you were born in Korea, you're automatically one. Yeah. So you start at one. Yeah. But then also your birthday is every... 1st of January. Yeah. So if you're born on the 31st of December, you're yeah. one, and then the next day you're two. Yeah. So you, you, you could be two years old in your day. Oh, so as in, you you when you're born, you're one. Yeah. And it's all done by calendar year. Yeah. Not. Yeah, so in Korea, on the day of your birth, you are considered one years old. Uh, the time you spent in the womb counts as your first year, which I agree with, despite only being nine months. Because of this, your Korean age is always at least one year higher than your international age or Western age. But then also they have the thing about New Year, so then you're, you're two. But I think that, you know, because I, I think when the baby's born, like, mm. it's been growing. Yeah, it's, it's been there. So, like, yeah. why is it zero now? Yeah, like, my, my baby came three months early. Yeah. So then, he, you know, he weighed very little and was small and then by the time it was a due date yeah he was like normal size but everyone was like oh he would have been born this day and i was like Yo, he's been here for like yeah three months, yeah right? yeah like, and his birthday's now obviously yeah three months less before yeah it's like so yeah i get that but he's jokes that, that matt guy's jokes isn't he <laughs> yeah i watch a compilation of him but he goes uh he goes <laughs> four times ten mad mad he pulls his calculator out and he goes four times ten. Oh, four hundred. Yeah, he goes <laughs> like he's like he sounds so like slow and like high, and he's like, oh, what's 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 four times ten? Oh, that's bare, fam. And then gets the calculator out and it's like, <laughs> and then what what was the other? Oh, that's it. Someone someone mentioned Vin Diesel. Like said, oh, um, 
Are oh, you acting like Vin Diesel? He was like, bro, I haven't seen Fast or Furious. <laughs> I kid you not. He said he was so. He's not putting this on. Like he no, was no, genuine. Yeah, yeah. I haven't nah. seen Fast or Furious. I can't even meet like, him. What? <laughs> what the fuck? And then Josh goes to him, or Tommy goes to him. Oh, you look like Phil Foden. He goes who? <laughs> and they go Phil Foden. He goes. He said, "Bro, how do you not know who Phil yeah. Foden is?" He was like, "I haven't watched the Euros in time." I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I swear, this guy, man, he's he's brilliant. He's, he's, someone's, someone's phone. Uh, someone's name on the on his phone in game is Deborah. And he goes, Deborah. What, what, oh what's Deborah? And everyone's like, bro, you're an idiot. He says, well, how would you say that then? And they go, Deborah. <laughs> I got to find yeah, one. Oh, yeah, my honestly, he's, he's funny, man. Oh, Sorry to get your hopes up, but the, the file is wrong. Oh, okay. We don't have 10 facts today. So well, next we've got these ones here, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Male ducks have corkscrew-shaped penises. That is disgusting. Nah, that's mad. That's disgusting. Yeah, Nick, next one. <laughs> yeah, move on quick. <laughs> Wait, the longest English word is 189,819 letters long. It what? takes three and a half hours to say. Surely not. Three and a half hours to say a word. No way. No. I thought the longest English word was... Um, Supercalifragilistic. No. The What is that? What is that? <laughs> Numo. You can do this. I reckon you can do yeah, this. Yeah, this is in a... Numa... Numa Ultra. Ultra Microscopic. I can tell you who can say it. There you go, look. You'll notice that there's... Oh. I actually tried learning that word, you know. Did you? Yeah. That, you? that No, because it's in a Professor Green song. It's the first oh. word. He goes, Numa... Numa non ultra microscopic silicone volcaniosis. Something right, like that. right, right, right. <laughs> what, what, what does this mean? He what literally is? says that and he goes, I don't know what it is, but I know that it flows sick. Okay, okay. No, and he does nice. it It sounds sick in the song. Yeah. They were saying the one, the, the longest word, that one there, it's 189,000 letters long. It's got like um, the dot, 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 dot in it. And apparently it's a protein for iron, they, they were saying. But why? why? Like, who created that word? Doesn't why? Need to be yeah, long. why? It doesn't need to be that long. And it's not like it's, um, no word was, no word's natural, is it? So someone's created that. Just to be a dick. Yeah. <laughs> also, I, I reckon the thing is they hate their job. They're like, I don't get paid enough for this shit. I'm going to sit here for like weeks to create this word. <laughs> Three and a half hours. Yeah, that's mad. Sea otters hold hands while they sleep so they don't drift apart. I would say that's cute, but I hear too many disgusting stories about otters. Yeah. I think they're one of those creatures that don't- Like dolphins. They don't take no yeah. for an answer. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So fuck you, they're not cute. Also, it's kind of bad because if they do drift apart together, like say if they both drift off like a dam- or, or yeah, you've lost two. You've yeah, you yeah. both died now. <laughs> Single swim and they, they sank. Do you say if they build, what? Don't otters build dams? Yeah. So I'm saying what if they like, they're like swimming and chilling in the water and they don't build the dam correctly and they both fall off it. <laughs> <laughs> they're holding hands. They're still both going to drift <laughs> off. They're not holding hands. <laughs> true, true. In an attempt to make their menu more nutritious, McDonald's once created broccoli that tasted like bubble gum. That sounds good. That does sound good. I find it, I, I disagree though, because I think it's the texture of broccoli that like makes it feel a bit ugh. I like really? the texture of broccoli. I don't mind, yeah. Really? I don't mind the texture, but... Kids just naturally just don't fight with vegetables. No, they don't. They tastes don't. like bubble gum. Oh, true. Okay, true, true. Are you, you're not. Are you vegetarian or vegan? Vegan. You are, yeah. Sick. Sick. So would you eat that? I would try. Definitely try it, yeah. Because yeah. it's only a taste. As long as, yeah. Like it's, I mean, I don't mind the taste of broccoli, but I definitely would try that just to see, right, like bubble mm -hmm. gum. All right. President Theodore Roosevelt had a pet hyena named Bill. If you can get such a cool pet like a hyena and you're calling it Bill, Bill. that's such a waste. Stop, Why are you doing stop that? Stop circling what? its penis. Oh my God. I, you know what? I didn't realize what I was didn't, doing it. It was too late. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have any pet, what would you have? And I'm talking anything. Dog. Cool. <laughs> that, was, that was a sick choice, you know. <laughs> what? You don't, you don't have a dog? No. No. I might do when I go back um, Nottingham. Yeah. But, uh, do you have any pets? Mm, got two dogs. Two dogs? What type? Little Steph and Sick. a little Frenchie. Sick. It's long bit short, mate. Long bit long. <laughs> <Kinda>. <laughs> was that your <laughs> video? That was his yeah, video, yeah. <laughs> Nicky, take the fucking cock off. <laughs> take the pet hyena cock off the screen, man. But if you could get anything as a pet? <sighs> anything. You're really going with a dog? I, just, I feel like whatever I choose, I'm going to put it into captivity, right? So the dog's the only one I know that doesn't live in captivity. 
No, no, no. Like it's trained. Dolphin. Okay. Sick ass tank in my backyard. And it's like if you choose like a, I don't know, like a lion, it's not going to kill you. Yeah. Oh, of course. That's my pet. We've got, we got a bond. Yeah. So what I'm would going to have a dolphin. My answer dolphin. Yeah, I can't lie. It would definitely be a tiger, probably. No, I can't. I don't know the name of it yet, but there's this cat that's really small. But on, um, it looks almost like a like a like a fur, really furry leopard. It was on. Um, but it's small. But it's small. I think I've seen they're one really of them. small. And like a wildlife show. Yeah, they're yeah, really no, small. Go, go YouTube and type in the world's smallest cat. I think I've seen one of these. Yeah, it's but they, they look so. If cute, you log into like, YouTube on Incognito, it'll pop up on your home screen. It's one of them videos. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you should go YouTube. I think that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah, clap, clap. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I probably it, have man. that, man. Yeah, I probably. Have, I don't know why. I just, when I saw that, I was just like, "What?" Like, I like kittens, but I hate cats. That's what I'm saying. Like, that is meant to be full grown. Oh, that, that's that cool. is full grown. That's cute. Have you, uh, by the way, Stan, have you got a response to Freya? When she called you out? Oh, yeah. So I have this thing where I hate cats. Okay. I don't actually hate them that much. I just, yeah. I think like, why would you get a cat? Like, if you're <laughs> going to get a pet, get a dog. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Full and um, Freya did like a full, she did like three Insta stories, basically just shitting on people that hate cats. Is saying it? like, oh, you're a 10, but you actively say you hate cats. You're a two. You're a two, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blah, blah. And then everyone told her how much I hate cats. Oh. So it seemed like it was targeted at yeah, me. Yeah, she, yeah. she did and then said, no, 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 it wasn't that Simon. It wasn't yeah, that Simon. Like, I didn't even know Simon hated cats. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just, you know, a waste, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. I like, don't hate cats. I just think they're snakes. I just think <laughs> like someone else. They don't like you. you. Yeah, so someone else feeds your cat. Yeah. They're, they're gone where dogs it's like they're always yours no matter what yeah. even if they're over friendly you call your dog your dog's coming yeah yeah. yeah 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 you call your cat your cat will look at you like i'm over here now <laughs> yeah yeah this is me me and my bro went to the watch silverstone so and his, his family were away from where he, where he lives and he was looking at his camera to try and see where the cat is mm. and he goes oh i think that's that's my cat and he goes wait actually i think it's not i don't think that's my cat it's just a random cat on his bed that's, that's what I mean. Just what, go what's, chill the, what, what's the joy yeah. in that? Yeah. So some yeah. random cat just walked into his house, and, and the reason that he's done that is because he's given access to his cat to leave. So like, he's, he's yeah, so his cat's probably chilling in someone else's house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly. No there's, loyalty. Honestly, yeah. yeah. There's no, no loyalty. loyalty. They're snakes. There's All no cats loyalty. are whores. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we learned. <laughs> <laughs> what's the next one? Humans are born with two innate fears: fear of falling and the fear of loud noises. The rest are learned. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So if you just, how do you, how can you stop them from learning other fears? Uh, that's, mm, yeah, I don't know that. You just got to, they, just, they have to experience everything yeah, while they're basically, young. Basically, while they're young, yeah. So they need to skydive when they're like, like three. It's <laughs> like swimming when, when yeah, yeah. some children, when they first get in the pool, it's like, they're just scared and then they learn to swim. I see, have you had a swimming lesson? Well, have you had a swimming lesson for Carter? Yes. So when they're a baby, I see just videos of them yeeting kids in. <laughs> uh, did you ever like witness this? No, I I saw them do, I, I, I've witnessed it, but I wouldn't let them do it to Carl, but I've witnessed I it. I just think it's so, they, cause they, they trick them as well. Yeah. They pick the baby up and they're like, hey, little baby, yeah. and just yeet them. Well, I mean, yeah. the, remember on the podcast, I said that all kids, all babies can swim. They can't, it's impossible for them to drown. Yeah. It's not impossible, as John told me, it's not impossible for them to drown, but like they naturally can swim. Yeah. So. So when, when you get to like a kid age, like you're actually like a, you learn how to swim, then you're, you're panicking then. But it, not instantly, like a kid's not, like a baby's not gonna drown itself. It's gonna try and like get to the top. What? Did yeah. you understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, baby, yeah. babies, they, they can swim. Yeah. So babies can't drown, but kids can. Yeah, because it's, it's like but this. Ba babies, I don't know why, but they, they already have an instinct to try and not drown. Don't know why, but well, haven't like, they been living in liquid for like nine months? But that, uh, yeah, but it's like they already. It's like even so. One of the like they said, uh, the babies are born with a fear of falling. That's one of the tests as well. Like in a hospital, once you have a newborn, one of the one of the tests is to see if they react to that motion of falling. They're trying to find superheroes. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> if they don't react, they're like, yeah, this baby's stone cold. Yeah. <laughs> take him away, take him yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, he is the one. Take, take away, yeah. And the loud noises one, they do that test, don't they? Yeah, yeah. They took, Laura, they took uh, Harper away in uh, a, like a, the, the cot thing that they have, and mm. they banged it into the wall. And the baby went, <laughs> yeah. so she was they, like, okay. They look for that. Like, if, if it starts with a baby, it's like, those, those yeah. are all good signs. I opened the fridge, right? <laughs> not really, it's not loud at all. Baby's on the other side of the room. I opened the fridge, and she just goes, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. Like, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that, that happened today. My missus like, just dropped a pillow and it was like just a normal. <laughs> And Mason was like, I was just like, what's going on? Yeah. Like, that didn't even make a loud noise. No, but. not all. Yeah. Oh, they were doing like a karate pose. That's what they do. It's really weird. It's, like, yeah. it's, it's, just, it's just built into them. It's like, it's it's mad. But yeah. So I, I get what you're saying. Like, yeah, they, yeah. They naturally try and. Mad. Yeah. Okay. Number seven. Ancient Egyptians would use the paste from dead mice to cure toothaches. What? That doesn't seem that weird to me, you know. What? Paste well, they from used dead to, mice? I didn't they used to like. Use piss as mouthwash. Yeah, but that, that's piss. What was paste? Huh? So he's, Who did? He's, <laughs> I heard that like ancient before. Egyptians. They use piss as mouthwash, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I reckon so, you should just try shit back in the day, man, and just see what sticks. That, I, I think that about everything, though. Yeah. Like, some of the, like, the craziest things, I think. Who who did that first? Yeah. Like the jellyfish one, right? If you get stung by a jellyfish, you can pee on it. Who? who that's what I'm saying. Yeah, who experienced like, that first? Someone's, yeah, someone said... <laughs> What if I piss on you? <laughs> <laughs> like someone said that, and someone said, "Try it." <laughs> uh, and honestly, no, it feels good. yeah, that like, it, it just baffles me, man. <laughs> yeah, it baffles I just me. don't think there's like this is definitely a weirdo that just bit into mice or something, something. that had a toothache and thought, <laughs> "Oh, my toothache!" Like it cleared at that point, yeah, yeah. so it must have been the mouse. Because I don't feel like there's a science at this point to prove anything. So there is no proof, but. Maybe it's maybe it was true. Yeah, maybe it was. Yeah. So next time you have a toothache, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll rub a dead mouse on it. Yeah, yeah, I'll try that. David Bowie launched his own internet provider in 1998 <laughs> called Bowie Net. Seriously, <laughs> I did not. I did not. Wait, know wait, that. click it, Nick. Bowie Net. Oh, okay. Never mind. I mean, it's not. <laughs> what kind of speeds would you get in? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Um. It's not. I wouldn't trust that. Look at, the picture. I, I, Look at the picture. Like. Yeah. I, I, I just saw the next fact. It's crap. Yeah. All right, what is it? <laughs> Miss Piggy Lee. Like, who cares? Who cares? Her name was Piggy Lee. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> <laughs> like, literally. It's not as catchy, though. No. Why are they in front of the O2, though? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I was looking like. Why? 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 Like, <laughs> That's my. <laughs> And number 10, a woman in England once called the police because her ice cream didn't have enough sprinkles. I believe I I believe that. Yeah. Without even you clicking that, I fully believe that happened. Cause that, I, one thing I've learned in the in like these these COVID years is there are mad people out there yeah. that just like yeah. they're mad. Yeah. Like or they'll have breakdowns over like anything. Small things. Yeah. I reckon what happened there though, I reckon obviously I'm not gonna listen to it, but I reckon she asked the person who gave her the sprinkles for more sprinkles and they wouldn't do it. And then it was an altercation. Yeah. The thing is, it could have been code and the police just weren't having it. Right. Because have you seen those, you know, calls where it's like, they'll phone in, they'll be like, oh, hi, is this Domestic the police? Yeah. And, yeah. and it's like, is this the, uh, could I order a pizza, please? And they'll be like, this is the police, like yeah. not a pizza place. And they're like, I know. Could I get a pepperoni pizza, please? And they're like, no, it's the, pl all right, bye. And what they're, they're just, saying yeah. is like, help me. Yeah. yeah. And the police just don't like, I've seen ones where the police have to be told like 10 times, mm. like. I know. Can I have a pepperoni pizza? Like that. Yeah. So maybe that was that, and they just didn't get it. True. Yeah, True. maybe. But I, I do think there is someone out there who just felt there are those like people who feel so entitled. It's like, yeah. what? You're not giving me more sprinkles? This is outrageous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll call outrageous. the police. <laughs> I'm calling. The Go police. on then. <laughs> what I always think about when people say I'm going to call the police, they think that they're just because just because you call them, you're going to be right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm, I'm calling the police. Therefore, you're going to get in trouble. And it's like, well, no. It's a scare tactic, though. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it is. It is. Yeah. It's like, don't park there. I'm, I'm going to call the police. You know what I mean, <laughs> go like, for it. Well, they're not going to call the police. It's just long, isn't it? It's long. long. It's yeah. not long. You can do it. Nine and nine. Easy as that, mate. Then you got to wait. True. Yeah, then you true. got to explain true. your situation. True. true. They got to decide if they're even going to come for that. Yeah. If you're on credit as well, that might cost more than sprinkles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um, that was our ten weird facts. Uh, thank you very much for coming on. I don't think I I've. Appreciate do you have anything that. left that you want to ask? No, no. Thank you, man. It's been sick. No, yeah, thank you very man. much for coming on. Yeah, good little chat, man. As you yeah. guys heard, a new album in a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and check him out on Twitch. Yeah, man. Yeah, do that for sure, for sure. There'll be links yeah. in the description down below. And, yeah. Uh, thank you guys. See you guys next week. Peace. Peace. peace.